No. And then Sarah's is probably the next best one at 510. That was the one. Did you see that one? Hmm. Well, welcome everyone to another YouTube live. Today I'm only doing uh, special deliveries. Um, I was going to say I've got a panel if anybody wants to join. Links at the top. You've already heard the panel because uh, OBS decided to unmute them just as I went live. Thank you, OBS. And uh, enjoy the stream. On the panel, I have Dominic and Justin, and Laura will be joining shortly. Links have been sent out. Anyone else wants to join, as long as you've been in the chat and you seem reasonable, we'll let you on. Hi, panel. You let Justin on. Good evening. <laughs> And that was Laura insulting Justin, just just for the sake of it. Shh, everybody, shh. What? Said. It's probably hurting him, that's why. Are you guys there? Here we are. No, that's alright. Hello. I was beginning to panic then. If you're wondering what Laura's going on about, Dominic our bird is actually finally getting the cleaning off uh, Star, which he's been desperate for for years, and now he's getting it, he's moaning. <laughs> As you do. <laughs> and, um... I thought it was Rio. That's my teammates. I thought I fixed the shit. I thought I had no steering wheel then. Why is it not letting me? Huh? So, I need to pull out of the uh, garage and park up and then go to the job market and I think it's this one, burning rings, so we're going to do a, a massive text part. No we're not, we're going to do the uh, Reams to Strasbourg. That's more Luxembourg to Strasbourg. Mm. Okay. All right. We're going to be towing a truck chassis. Set GPS. Continue. Time to hit the road. Time to hit the road. Fucking hours away. What the? Turn left. David, what did you say, Laura? Said I kind of fade out in and out when she talks. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Well, that truck just changed his mind. He was turning and decided, now nah, what bother? What in the turn God left. hell is that truck? the adjustments on that controller. Oh, it feels so much better. Yeah, your micro microphone crackled then. Uh, is that better? Yeah, it seems alright. YouTube decided to uh, shut down my uh, page. It's a lot better. 404 error. Oh, no. Got it back. 
So you can tighten the joysticks so they're not so loose. So you can have a little bit more uh, control like when you're shooting and stuff. Yeah. And you can shorten the trigger uh, so the triggers don't have to go as far to press. So you can be quicker on the triggers. There's actually three settings, triggers, that you can set it. And they won't, they don't need to go in as far to, to click the button. Oh yeah, I like that way better, it feels so good. The blue sticks are all loose here. But I was wondering what that little tool was for that came with it. So I looked up some videos last night and they showed me how to do it. And I was like, oh cool. Every time I think I've figured out everything about that controller, I found something else about it. Some other feature. Yeah, I think I need to get a new steering wheel. I really don't get it. It told me to come here to Reams to uh, pick up the special delivery. So I thought, right, that's where I'm going to start from today. And it's decided now the same job is in Luxembourg. Do we have to let Laura in? Yeah, do we have to? I suppose. He's back. Hello. Oh, oh, just for fuck's sake. <laughs> Why did you do them for fuck's sake for? Some squeaky voice. I'm gonna leave it down there. Is that um, I'm going to swap to my other camera if it's plugged in because I'm going to be standing up. Uh, oh, Frick, why are you not plugged in? Uh, oh, we're going in this, are we? I'll still get past you. Up on top of the Xbox. Yeah. There we go. Nothing beats a good skidding around the corner. No, no, no. No. No, no, no. No? no. no. Yes. No. I'm talking no. to the file that I'm trying to get off the camera. No, 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 yes. Yes, no. Find the favourites. Oh, no, 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 yes. Yeah, Justin won't get that joke. <laughs> Justin didn't get any Jim, joke. Jim from, Jim from the Vicar of Dibley, yes. That's the one. <laughs> no, 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 yes. No, 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 yes. <laughs> you have a gift for me. Yeah, Is it? No. <laughs> That's not really what I wanted during the live. <laughs> She's been nice and helping me. Okay. Yeah, by distracting me. Pack it in. Yeah. It's like she can bring you dinner in shortly and distract you even more. Yeah. You mean yeah? No. <laughs> uh, on this occasion, no, 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 I means no. Yeah. You should be lucky that I'm actually cooking you dinner. Oh, yeah. I was going right. I thought I missed my turning then. Are you for serious? Keep right and then nope. exit right. He, he's brought me all the way up here exit. Right. to go back to where I freaking came from. Oh, you prick. I think, I think me and the makers of this game are going to be on a fucking argument. They do any more stupid updates. Exit. Right. No, you're dead. You sure? Yeah. I've already entered them. 
So that's what it looked like going that way. And this is what it looks like going this way. This is what it looks like if you play spaghetti. Sitting back down there for now. Oh, I'm going to take them to the charity shop. I'm going all the way down there on the top. How can I all already run out of room? Yeah. Right, have you seen this? It's took me out of this warehouse here, up here, all the way, fucking up there, to come back down, yeah. past where I just started from, and that way. I want your bag. Yeah. Ah, you. Oh, did I need to send the links to anyone? Yeah, everyone. But two of them are already here that I send the links to. Do I need Jesus. to send them the link? And now I'm getting attacked by AI cars. Where the hell did he go? Uh, that needs been in. Send a link to my brother. Can't believe he's just took me on a, uh, a link to that person. forty mile journey for no reason. And that's what this bridge looks like coming this way. That's all I send the links to. Oh, Mark. Come on. Oh, a lot of strange looking cars in this game today. Angie's online, so I'll send her a link. A lot of people will be getting ready for the eclipse. Yeah. Mm. yeah, I'm trying to think who's on that side of the world, that's why I'm not sending them links. Well, you might as well still send them. Can't see Charles jumping on here. <laughs> And this is where we set off from. Did, did I forget to pick anyone up? I'll pick you up on the way past. Charles, has he ever even been on your show? Hey. Probably not. Hey. Charles. No, but I sometimes just send everybody who's online a link. So I go through them all. Oh look, TJ's on, on, online. Let's send him a link. I'll give you keep right and then exit right. Exit right. Oh, fuck off. Get ready to turn left. It says 56, mate. Get out my way.
much chocolate. Well, the plan was to do special deliveries on this game. You've got eggs just falling today. out the line. It doesn't look like I'm going to be doing any. Oh, David, I've, I've tracked where my I've tracked where my phone is. It's a Dagenham. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Back to iPhone, I come. It yes. won't be to, won't be here till tomorrow still. Why not? <laughs> Even though my my phone was the first one to be dispatched and said it would be out this evening, I've since checked and now it says it'll be tomorrow. Oh. Back to iPhone. Back to iPhone. Shut up. Yeah. Good news. No, it's not. I put it there. It means oh. you can FaceTime you now, Dominic, without... Yep. Go for it. I'll send you my number. <laughs> he, he wouldn't care. I as would. long as it's not when he's asleep. Which is when you're awake. Now, there are times that we'll probably be on the same path. Hamburg keeps giving me evil looks. <laughs> well, I'm really not liking the look of this. Uh... Oh, it's just a turning. It's fine. What? Oh, yeah, I think that's Uncle David's. What's mine? Oh, this little birdie keyring. Uh, birdie badge thing. I can't remember where, who we got it from. Well, we're definitely not going to see any ellipse, even if the sun has gone down. It's very cloudy. Oh, Laura, it's not due for another couple of hours, are you? I know, but it's cloudy out there. Report! 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 Uh, it's actually going to go. The eclipse is about quarter to eight. Until like eight o'clock. More or less, the sun mm. will have gone down by the time we get to see it. Yeah. yeah. Or it'll be very close to the horizon. Surrounded by concrete buildings. Finally. It was that one. And. Wait, what? You're on. Oh, you're gonna be kidding me. Tens. Oh. Thank God for that. British. Tens. Oh, Tim's awake. Yay. Here we go. We are pulling this uh, big Amazon open box parcel to Justin. Sevens. Yep, it's the back of a truck. Why are you looking at it like that, weirdo? Do you have any sevens? No. What the fuck's he doing? I don't know. What the hell is that noise? Uh, that is Justin's kids, oh. I think. I thought it was you. It's, if it's Justin's kids, it's fine. And mm -hmm. if it wasn't me, it's not. I thought, I thought you was playing bingo. No, that's me poisoning your food. Nothing on there then. So. This is oh, what... did you hear what you got, you got for dinner? No. Okay. This is what we're towing today. Well, in this job. <laughs> One giant ass box. 
What's up, Burger? Hey, Mark. Hey, Rigger. Rigger. Okay. That's gonna be an interesting camera angle on this road. Reminds me, I've got to go and grab some shorts from yesterday. What? On my live stream. Has anyone not? What the hell's happened here? Dustin, you do know your game's not fitting on the Zoom window, don't you? Oh my god. Oh. What the hell's going on here? Yeah. Oh. oh no. Alright, let's press my chair forward. Without running my tootsies oh, over. Why the hell is it off? It's like your whole game capture has gone really huge. So what am I having for dinner? Crispy pancakes. And? Chips. Yay. I might do some beans. Chips. It's just what I need after having all the uh, fruit and fibre earlier. More beans. Can't be yeah. as well. I nearly threw up the wheat Weetabix I had for breakfast. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm not supposed to eat them. Because I was hungry. You threw me in toast. Probably not the best yeah. camera angle to be driving at, to be honest. It should be fit, sir. Yeah, now it fits the screen, Justin. That's better. That's better, I can see what you're doing. Yeah, I looked over for a sec right oh. before you said that. I was like, what the fuck? I'm sorry, there's something hard in my bag. Maybe second in the chat if you're on the piano. What? What? <laughs> I can't believe you've only just seen that. Alright. Like these two foxes will live down there. There we go. What are you organizing your room again? Kind of. Kind of make it look tidier. So, David, do you want this iPad back? Yes. Get ready to turn All right, but right. so why is it still in my room? Turn right. <laughs> oh, freaking no. So let me charge it for you. Oh, really? Move that fucking caravan. Mm. Where did I put my phone? Am I going to hit him? Oh, sir. Plenty of room. Might play some games shortly. I just need to clear the bed. Oh, David, that shelf you put above my, um... Oh. Laura, is this a uh, conversation for during my live? Well, as I said, that shelf you've put up for me... It's filled with teddy bears. Cheers for that info. I'm sure the world, go, the go, world and Google would gladly know that. Dominic was happy to know where I store my teddy bears, aren't you, Dominic? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dominic, don't encourage her. <laughs> you can't see them, but... <laughs> Might shut the curtains.
Fuck your brain up in this bitch. Um, so everybody can see. Oh, this video will be interesting. We'll turn that on. It's going freaking dark. Uh -uh. Have you not done them challenges in the dark yet? Anybody for a drawing? Oh, Amber, if you want some headphones to plug in if they die, use them ones. Okay? Um, okay. I don't mind if you only want ear works. Can both of you work on that one? Oh, I don't care. If not, I can get you the other set that's not. I don't care if it's one of your works, I don't care. But because wires head on the table, they see the frame from the, from the, from the actual wires, you know. Put them in my makeup. Yeah, one drone for sale. Every time, every time I go to fly it, it either rains, gets too windy. It just means everybody gone quiet. Everyone's gone quiet. Yeah, everyone's gone boy. Total eclipse of the voice. Yep. All way to the TV cameras. I really don't get why when you're doing the special missions, they put vans at the side of the roll with somebody being interviewed. Like he's got anything to do with my business. Yeah, there'll be a truck along here very soon. And I want to put them up somewhere, but we don't tell David. We don't? No. Oh, okay then. You don't know what it was, so... Or care. Cool. So when you come in here and there's lights everywhere, you don't care. <sighs> right, I can swap the cameras back over now. No, I'm probably going to go over. I might need your help at some point, David. You've needed help a long time, shut up. I was more on about helping me find somewhere to put this mic, new mic, so I can actually use it properly. Quick save, Robert Bowles there. Right, uh, it's load. I bet Dominic feels well left out. We're all going to be gaming, are you using? Yeah, well. I've got a, another browser open watching the Eclipse, so that's the main reason why I'm staying up. <laughs> I need a chat as well. So what, what time are you going to actually officially get up after the Eclipse? Laura, kitchen. Uh, probably, I heard it. I'll probably go for another. I'll probably have another. I'll probably watch. Uh, probably another hour and then, <clears throat> and then have an hour sleep and then get up for the main part. Yeah. Just in time to switch the news on and hear the world is about to end. Yeah. yeah. So how did you spend your last hour on Earth? <laughs>
like a nice turn coming up. Mm -hmm. Hey Jonathan, how you doing? Hey, what's up, fan? <laughs> Looking at the clouds. <laughs> Don't worry, when the eclipse starts, it should clear up. I did say should. If scientists are correct. Mm. How are you Jonathan? Links at the top if you'd like to join. We would like to have you back on the panels. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna keep asking brother. Mm. Oh god. What's up Jonathan? It's in the mic in the dishwasher. Jesus Christ woman. Yeah. Why do I smell burning? Mm -hmm. New means of crispy pancakes. Mm
I'm not Welsh Rob. There was a van parked up at the side of the side of the road that looked like Welsh Rob's van. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> you know like so when um Yeah, you know like when he um went out on the uh road to uh, get that truck. Sort of looked like they'd done. It just seems to be a straight and bloody road. Oh, okay. There's been no like sharp turns or roundabouts, traffic lights, or anything. It's getting a bit more interesting. He's got to close that road well, didn't he? he sat over the other mm. side of the freaking road over there.
I'm not really doing them again. They're standing there. I lost the point of it. Yeah. It's gonna move again in a second. So I jump in first. Oh. Here we go. So quiet. Yeah. I'm watching it. Oh, I'm, I'm watching Eclipse videos. Oops, didn't need that sign. Hey, Jonathan. Sorry, I was cooking dinner when you came in. right turn was it really? Although it would have been easier to go straight on. Justin didn't do very well on that game did he? Why? I mean he placed the 17 out of like 100 and was bad. Anything below third is not good. Mm. You're not first, you're last. Second place is just a first place loser. Yep. I'd agree with that. Guessing all your cats are asleep, Dominic? Yep, they are. They don't expect me to be up at this time. But in probably about two hours, they'll ask for food. Yeah, they'll be like, Well, you stayed up. Come on, get up. Clips by the Gins in 28 minutes. You know, the, well, there's already Whoa, some man. of it. There's already some of it taken out. Well, we'll let go of the steering wheel while that happened. Oh, this is where um, in Detroit, Michigan. Hmm. That's it, push it down there. Why is my truck only wanting to go backwards? Oh no, what's happened to my steering wheel? You took it apart earlier? Oh, 
You've got to be kidding me. He's wanting to go backwards, look. The fuck? Okay. If you want to go backwards, go backwards. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. I fucking hate this game. Right, and the whole of that point of that was for the TV cameras there, yeah? For fuck's sake. Now we're back on the road. Was Donald taking um, equipment to film this? Yes. I think so. This chat I'm watching is going really fast. See, this is where I thought the, the truck would have skidded. On this road here. Told ya. Never mind. I'll find a new route. What do you mean find a new route? I'm gonna go down this bloody hill that I just slid down. <laughs> you slid down the hill. And look, look. It's that you know that gravel stuff. Yeah. That you slide on. It's that. And as you can see, my truck does not want to go in a straight line. And so you can go into the game and play with the... Um... Laura, Tens it's the gravel that I'm tra travelling on. I think my cargo's actually slipped on the trailer. <laughs> it looks like it's more on one side than it is on the other.
and it's complete. Well, that's not very good, is it? Lay down. Okay, sorry. Well, this is going to be interesting. I'm trying to drive a truck laid down. It's doing pretty well in Mexico at the moment. Oh yeah, they're getting it right down the middle. If anybody would like to share it on um, Zoom, I'll pin them. I've just got the NASA side up. Hey TJ. TJ! TJ! Uh -huh. TJ, link's at the top if you want to join us. I've also sent him the link. Somebody want to let Mark in, is it? Oh, I no. can't. I haven't got co-host. Here you have. No, I haven't. Here you have. I gave you co-host. There you go. I'll post no, the Oh, for Pete's sake. Don't blame it on Pete. It wasn't his fault. It, none of you co-hosts are letting him in. Mark, I've got two people waiting. Either that or they're getting stuck in the green room. Oh, yeah, that happened the other day, didn't Adam, it? Adam, do you yeah. know Adam Selman? No. No, I don't let no, him in. I don't know. let him in. Yeah, we're and you him. don't know Bruno 2022? No, well, these, no, these are the ones that we've told. If you want to join the panel, they need to talk in the chat first so we can get to know them and stuff. Remove. Yeah. Uh, I don't know who that Bruno person is. I've never seen that one before, but yeah, we have. I, I don't look now. Oh, the other one, he, he follows the um, Adam one. It says once removed, yeah. we'll not be able to rejoin the meeting. Okay, remove. Okay, done. Yep. You done it? Yep. They're all gone. Okay. 
Yo, TJ. Oh, I was just about to go. He uh, clicks, the, clicks the link every day, and we tell him every day that he can't <laughs> come on the panel unless he comes in the chat, and he never says that in the chat. <laughs> oh, just let's... Where has the link gone that I just opened? I've just posted the... Yeah, that's the one I'm trying to... Oh, there it is. Yeah. So you can... At you work on you your freaking day off. Well, that's stupid, isn't it? Oh, uh, TJ? Yeah, he's at work on his day off. Well, it's not his day off, then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's not a day off, he's working. <laughs> if he's working, it's not a day off, so... In theory. Don't worry, TJ, you ain't missing much from where you're at, so... You're only gonna get like 30% of it or something, 40. How much are you getting, Justin? 50... almost 60%. Anyway, I think we I think we added at fifty eight. Yeah, it was fifty eight point six. But that's for Orlando too, and that's a little south of me, so I'm thinking I'm going to be right around six. Yeah, because the further north you go, the more. It's better, yeah. yeah. Doing pretty well at the moment. I said where TJ's at, he ain't gonna miss much, so. I was down to 50, you're not really gonna. Yeah, it's not gonna be as, as cool to watch. I mean, it's still a cool thing to look at, but yeah, it's not gonna be worth really getting butt hurt over if you can't watch it. Yeah. Just pull these people out of the way. There you go. Now we got the eclipse on the side. Yay. Look, Bjork. So, so, why? Yeah, that's because everybody's watching the clips. Hmm. We've got his way around them.
Exit right. Exit. Yeah. That'd be good if you brought the eclipse into this game. Yeah. Just suddenly driving along and it suddenly goes dark like crash. <laughs> I've got a feeling there's two birds in the hallway. Hmm. Well, no. If they are, the cockatiels, because Rio and Bluey are on top of the cage arguing. Not quite, then. No, they're not. So I could just hear them. Then. Should I say, get ready to turn right? I'll take it, I've got to go into this warehouse here. So David, if you're ordering our phone cases on Thursday... Oh, yes. Is that the phone case I want, or the one, or just a temporary one? Neither. What the hell? Where's my job? Oh, yeah. It did to you what it did to me the other day. I need a job to read. They all seem to be going the other way. Okay, fine. In that case, we'll just go to job market. This one. And pick that job. Set GPS. Ouch. And world map. What do I have to do? <coughs> Ouch. I've got hiccups. I was talking to my laptop. Oh. Really. I'm now being shouted at by the child. Who's sharing? Me. Why? I'm not sure you can see. Can you see it on YouTube? I can't tell you because oh, I, I can't swap over screens. Just watch your short, David. Exit now. Ring. By going to it, or no? Uh, yeah, it, it come up as a notification. Turn left. Wait up a goddamn minute. Where are you taking me this time? Well, I've just noticed my TJ. Well, my TJ, no. So my chat stopped working after Dominic posted the link on the computer. Oh. Hmm. Why has it done that? I 
am I going to do this? I don't really want to. Have you tried asking your TJ? Or? Shut up. <laughs> How come that took you ages to realise what I said? He didn't. He was just doing something. Not looking at my messages, that's for sure. Okay, you got my way. Never mind. I'll find a new route. Right. Now the question has to be, why doesn't it take me down this way before? I wonder if you got a drink. Okay, See, there is an entrance to this freaking road. I don't have to go all the way up there. On an 180 mile freaking journey. Good. David, this child is so helpful. Good. I also she's got a, a drink and she just shrugged her sh shoulders at me. I rest my case about this game. That's how you get around the corner. Cross country. Yeah, up there, that'll do. Why are the kids running around outside like they're being, sounded like they're being murdered? Which kids? I don't know what kids they are. I didn't look out the window.
Sure you're here. Oh, right, that'll do. Freight market. Let's go. Let's watch this, um, Woman with her feet stuck in the ground taking photos. What scared the birds this time? I don't know. I'm more concerned that my truck wants to go in reverse. I'm actually surprised Dominic's still awake. He's not falling asleep yet. Why is my truck not going forward? But I will be having a nap soon. I'm waiting for this sliver of moon to di uh, sun to disappear. Yeah. Oh, what the hell? We're gonna have a problem here. Yeah. Well, this ain't gonna work, is it? <sighs> See, there's so many glitches in this game. Why are you taking me backwards? I need to go forward, you fucker. Thank you. Why the hell have you put me this way in the first place? I don't know. Okay, this is probably not the best way to drive. Well. Dad doesn't read that status mark just put up. Why? Mm. He just put up. Mm. Today's solar eclipse is sponsored by Mark's father, our spending over and blocking the sun. Oops. Oops. Hey, Rigger. Hey, Riga.
What's up, TJ Mark? Oh look, my brother's in there. Sorry for the clips, it's my fat bum. Not what you put on Facebook, Mark. I'm sure Dad will get his revenge. Wow, this is a struggle. Updated it. Oh, he's it he's now updated it to say Mark's fat ass. Mm -hmm. Wimped out, did he? Yeah, he wimped out, he knew he'd get in trouble with Dad. Mm -hmm. Should have screenshotted it when I had it. Yeah. If you click <laughs> if you click the edit when yeah. it says edit, oh, you'll see his old message. Happy. He didn't take it down quick enough. Screenshot. Getting close. It is getting close. But then they change cameras. Yeah, this that's the first contact point in the US. Well, the, the North American continent. Let's go first. Awfully What is... Yep. How can I keep my distance between the escort van if the escort van does a fucking emergency brake check on me? <laughs> oh, you literally just read the WhatsApp message. <laughs> it shows up through my laptop. Maybe you've got a picture of it. Mm. Oh, we're nearly there. Yes. Watch the sun disappear. Watch, well, they're gonna change the camera right when it's <laughs> Yeah, right, as it does. You've gotta be kidding me. No, I'm not, I'm serious. You do that. <laughs> and. It's still there. Take the filter off. <laughs> That's not a green screen. <laughs> it looks green from here. It looks green from here. Can't even see anything on Zoom anymore. <laughs> and oh, there's... No, I still see a sliver. Oh, yeah, still and here. here we go. A sliver. We are... It's a banana and it's gone. We're at the, we're at the diamond ring phase. Oh, there you go. I might be able oh. to press the live button, wouldn't it? <sighs> and we're away. And how long of that go. do you get? About three minutes? <laughs> yes, <that's right. laughs> 
So for those of you that was watching the total eclipse on the left hand side of my screen, so absolutely bagger all because Laura forgot to click the live button. Meh. Here we are. David, it was a total eclipse of the heart. <laughs> or a total eclipse yeah. of the fuck up. <laughs> That's pretty cool looking at. David, I don't think I've got my um, Microsoft Game Pass anymore. What do you mean you ain't got your Microsoft Game Pass? Well, I've just had a text to say they have removed my Xbox GPU inclusive extra. No. Yeah, but you should have the one for the with the no. Xbox. God, right, I'm so still on this footage and cut NASA's logo out of there. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm posting yeah, as could. a short. I'm posting as a short. <laughs> Justin, see, there's no need now to go outside and watch it. Oh my. The hell is going on with this fucking game? I don't know, nobody cares, we're watching this. Nobody cares, we're watching this. Yeah, why not? <laughs> well, I'm sorry, but this sort of, this eclipse is fucking playing around with my GPS. <laughs> don't, don't blame the eclipse for your crappy driving. Yeah. Shut up, I was only going around a little curve and my truck wanted to go the other way. <laughs> Justin, I'd like to see you drive better. Justin's fine, it's just the lamp pulse getting it getting his way. <laughs> Not right, Justin. Alright. <laughs> he doesn't like it when you do it back to him. I wonder what happened if you turned off on the, one of the roads. Oh, Mark, stop with the jokes. No, on the, on here. How does the moon cut its hair? He eclipse it. Yeah. Oh, even Amber. Even Amber. Oh, Mark removed his status. Did you not grab a screen grab, Will? Yeah, I could. Yeah, I did. And I posted it in the family group. <laughs> Dad's probably been in and going, Get that bloody removed now, you little shit! Uh, who's seen it? Who's seen it? Which catch up? <whistles> You're probably about to get all the text messages I just got. Probably. Well, you will have because your spend cap zero. <laughs> yeah, I've reached my spend cap twice. Yeah, so did I. Oh, is that the sun coming out a bit on that side? Jesus. <laughs> right, EE, pack it in. Oh my god, that's fucking bright. And away we go, here's the diamond. Here's the diamond ring at the other end. Shine light like a diamond. Right, right do, we need, do we need to watch anymore? Yes. Yeah, because I'll go to the next. Laura, why can't we see it again? Well, you should be able to. It's on live. The next phase. It's on the ne it's on the next phase anyway. It's got the red ring going down one side. Yeah, that's the uh, gone past the diamond ring now. So we're on the. We just have to wait for the next the next spot to. Uh, I think Texas is next on the agenda. And the Texas, Arkansas, and the next two.
They're still fun to fight with money. That's your profile picture. Yeah, I don't understand what you've got this Oops. Oh, here we go again. Oh, what the f fuck's sake. Mexico! Why is he trying to go forward? Can't you hear the fucking re fucking reverse, you twat? What have they done to this game? Oh my god. I'm pressing reverse. You can either reverse and it's trying to go forward. Stop going in reverse, you twat. Oh, I'm gonna have to end it. This is ridiculous. <clears throat> That's it, you keep going forward. Oh, now we're going backwards, are we? I don't know if I'm having a break. Have a break. Have a kick, Ken. Okay. The totality of the next.
game wants me to complete this mission. Why won't make you say that? Well, reverse is forward, forward is reverse, when it feels like it. It keeps sending me off in, the, in different directions, just randomly. And now I can't even get any speed going. The game is doofed. <clears throat> then all of a sudden I've got speed and I can't slow down. Go straight so Justin, how much of this you've recorded so far? I'm getting it. garden an indoor garden Are you all BS in that Laura no why I was gonna say because if you would all BS it and used it as a virtual camera set it as a stream on your virtual camera hmm. you know like I do with zoom yeah you could have carried on using your computer for other stuff um. See. What is wrong with sitting here growing plants? What? I'm gonna grow, I don't, I'll tell you what I'm gonna grow. And how we're going. Okay, I'm in the diamond ring. Has gone and make the gun. The uh, Arkansas is about halfway in. Vermont has just started. I'm surprised Vermont haven't banned it. Don't they ban yeah. everything? Vermont, don't they ban everything in films? Oh, I think so, yeah. Cause it's Vermont that bans dancing, isn't it? In uh, Dirty Dancing. I think it was. Oh, not, it's not Verti dan Dancing, it's Flash Dance. I don't know. Footloose. No, Verti Dancing. Footloose, that's the one. Footloose, close enough. Hey, you Corey. Doing? How you doing? Who? Corey. Corey Mano. Oh, sorry. I'm huh? trying to watch too many things at the moment. <laughs> Four different, four different devices going, watching everything. Yeah, yeah show off. So. You just show off, Dominic, that you're multitasking. Yeah. The sun's shadow is going at 1,975 miles an hour. Jesus Christ, the sun, sun's just gone bright on my game. Mm. It's just come out of the eclipse itself. Whoa. Mm.
left Mexico. We're heading into Texas and Arkansas. Why did Mexico get it first? <laughs> That's just the way, it, it's the way it moved. It started down in the Pacific Ocean, worked its way through Mexico, and it's because it's going from uh, south, west to north east. Just the, the way the geography is. I would have thought it just started in the north. No, because of the way <clears throat> the way the sun is moving at this time of year. It moves that way rather than that way. Oh. Wow. I can't do it yet. Because I haven't got one of the things I need. Got water? No. What? Soil. I'll go straight up. I mean, I'm not going to dig up outside. What? Oh, well, it gives you coconut fibre, but then you read in the box. Um, you need soil as well, and it doesn't provide you with soil. Okay, we're in Arkansas now. So considering I'm speeding, and yeah, it's still going to take me longer to complete the job. Do you know what I might do? What David just said. I'm going to unshare a minute. Thanks for listening. You're welcome. There's a reason. In other words, speed up. about that. It'll be there when it gets there. Shut <laughs> up. It's coming by UPS, it'll be tomorrow. Yeah, I ordered it through uh, UPS off the post office, so it should be here on time. <laughs> yeah, but it's been dumped in your bin. <laughs> <laughs> believe the next free solar eclipse America gets. Yeah, ours Where's is not the... until... Our next full one is not until 19, uh, 2090. One. We was talking you're about our polls. To, you're going to have to travel. You're going to have to travel down under then. We've got two in the space of two years. Well, David, when I just looked, when I looked up, we don't get a full one. Until 2091. 2090. Alright, 2090. I only looked it up. I don't think I... it really matters. Nero's are going to be here. Yeah. Turn right. What is it, like 70 odd years? We get a partial one next year, I think it said. We're getting close in Texas. Alright, let me turn my virtual camera on. Oh. If it's getting close in Texas, that'll be over in no time. They'll shoot the moon. There you go. Uh, that's 
that one's Arkansas, but whatever. Actually, click the live button. The Arkansas Chugabug. There you go, David. Yeah, but now you're not spotlighted, so. Oh, they're getting cloudy. Really? Fuck's sake. Oh, now what? Fucking oh. hell. Not again. What the fuck's wrong with this fucking game today? It's well, we the tried reset. We tried resetting it. I'm gonna have to. Either that or we're going to redo your controller. It's not the controller. It's just randomly <laughs> wanting to turn left all the time. What are you gonna do when that game just shuts itself and you can't play it no more? It won't. Ah, turn it off and play some, uh, Fall Guys. No. No. Yeah, why not? Because I'm not get... allowed. I think I've got Which? gaming threats now. <laughs> yeah, what? You weren't supposed to look at my screen to see what I was doing. Why, what are you doing? I've loaded a game up. I don't get it. Even now it's still trying to turn left. Good news is the next big turn is a left turn. <laughs> the truck will want to go right. <laughs> We've got nothing going on in Texas. Oh, what's that blue little light? What do you mean you got something going on in Texas? We've got a totality in Texas. We've just yep. had babies, but. This is Texas. Diamond ring and then Bailey feeds. And we're just about to hit totality if the clouds don't get in the way. Of course they're going to get in the way. Get ready to turn left. Oh, I haven't hit the record button, that's all. Not this time. Oh, here we go. Back onto the gravel. Done me again. It's not, it just.
Oh, Dalek, have you seen some of the the pictures from the James Webb telescope? Oh, my God. Mm. Yeah. Fucking amazing. Yeah. Absolutely badass. Hmm. Was a fun job. Not. All then crashes, and I still got excellent. Okay. Right. Any jobs back to realm? Oh no! Look. Here we go. We're gonna quick travel again. This should be over me in what, like about 15, 20 minutes, something? Uh, a new route. Let me. Where am I? Uh, a bit longer than that, I'd say. 237 here. The twenty five minutes. Yeah. So yeah, the U 25. the UK is gonna see it at the same time as um Florida. Twenty five minutes. That's uh five past three. That'll be the best you'll get. Go out there, probably about 250, 255. You recording it? I'm gonna try. I'm gonna use my phone. I put a couple remember, of. Remember, don't point it directly. Why? If you can fuck the sensors up. Oh bollocks! Yeah. Oh, uh, I got a couple. I got three. Uh, I got sunglass lenses taped together. <laughs> well, it's shielded a little bit. Nearly. <laughs> Oh look, this time it's not sending me the wrong way. So how much of it does Michigan get to see? 98%. Almost. That's probably 98% there. Of where Paul's at? Yeah. Yeah. And I bet Paul's not even outside looking at it. Well, he won't be getting it yet, will he? Do I? He won't get it yet. It'll be later than you. It'll add to another, I think, for the 35 minutes, I think, for him. I think it was 15 minutes on top of yours. Uh, really just, throw a two, just throw a 256 MD filter on, it'll be fine. I'll have to mention it. In. Yeah, that the Air 2 gave you with the 256 nobody ever used. <laughs> so it's already been over Donald, right? No, that's heading towards him. Okay. So he should be experiencing that in the next half hour. Yeah. Yeah. Let, let me get the numbers up. Is he Make live? Sure. Is he going live or is he... I 
Oh, unlimited water. Unlimited? Yeah, spin your wheel at the top. Vermont is trying to, trying to calculate these times. I'm looking faster. I think he's about 45 minutes away. You know? It's not really fading in the distance here. Totality in Texas. They did say when a when the total eclipse happens, you will get a clear sky. The clouds are clear because it's something the sun and the moon does. It pushes the clouds out. <laughs> That's the only bit of useful information I know about the eclipse. I can Useless. Okay. Russell, Russellville, Arkansas. Chug a bug. Special job. Let's do this. Well, not then, two guys have lost their feet. Yeah. So is him. He's kneeling d deep in the mud. For 23 minutes, we've seen three. This is our third totality. I'm confused. The size of this job. Why do we need those vans? What is it you're hauling? Tires. Don't move. That's why. Yeah, but they're not that big. It's slightly over a normal trailer. in Arkansas. Get that quiet guy across view. Oh, 
Well, that's the end in Dallas. Oh, I can see the, the moon through my phone. Yes. Oh, I've run out of water. Mm -hmm. All in the front yard? That was my phone. My I can't wait to get rid of it phone. <coughs> yeah, it's Android. I don't like Android. Not a grinding here. What rear escort? Well, this is an interesting one. What? Oh, did it tell you you left your escort behind? No, the rear escort's in front of me. Yeah. <laughs> um. Shall I go around him? There's an interesting one. I went round the rear escort and the front escort and uh, left them behind. Oh, you've driven away from the escort. Oh, low checkpoint. Boo. Got three bodies. Where the hell am I now? Yep. Let's get give people a different view of it the. It doesn't uh... work. Yes, it one by one. How did you get a fox? I got three bunnies. How much is it taking? Turn right. Oh, oh, oh. This time, I'll go before the rear escort. I carry the bunnies with the fox. Many more left. Slowly creeping up on it. I think that but I think there's seven they had seven cameras lined up. I know it gives scientists four minutes 
to uh, do some research on the sun. Yeah. Yep, it's a fucking gas, gas ball. No, we knew that. But what else can you do in four minutes? <laughs> what do you like to learn? Exactly. No. I'm trying to keep it. Trying That's to keep what it I was thinking. thinking. <laughs> I always count on Laura to take it over. Oh, are we gonna? If you do know if you go to the back, you can try and get a neon pet. I've got five bunnies already. I lost all my bunnies. So I tried to make them neon at the back. Tried to. Mhm. Mm right, so it gives you a 50-50 chance to try to do it. The fuck? Look at it. Wait, why is your text? I have no Stupid cat, man. Are you trying to watch the boots up here? No, but back a section. Back a section. Why? Spend some coins. Okay, I can sort it out. Good evening, Mark. Hello. Hello, Chris. Well, they fitted a new electric meter, a new gas meter, and a new smart meter. And here comes the big bills. Who are you hey, with? The nice, the night British gas. God. Um, the nice thing about it is, since November, the meter that they fitted then yeah. hasn't been registering any gas usage. So, I'm not being charged for all the gas I've used during winter. Well, that's good. But they're going to make you pay for it now. It's strange, when Scottish Power put our um, electric meter in, in our old address with no heating on mm. and we were still using 175 pound a month it went up from 65 pound a month to 175 pound a month overnight that's ridiculous and then or well, even on my prepaid meter i was only using 100 pound a month in electric yeah. and now we've moved here and that's a much bigger place than yours <laughs> Yeah, now we've moved here, we've got electric and gas with Ovo, and we're not even using £130 a month. Me, Phoenix, yeah. and we've had actually had heat in here. Yeah, crazy, isn't it? Yeah. Just goes to show what Scottish Power had done. And that's why the, uh, the litigation team got in touch and sorted it out, because they knew if they went to court it weren't going anywhere. Yeah. Uh, you what? Dustin's talking to people. Well, oh, that's what I think he's doing anyway. That's It must have been that last job, you know, because now my driving, my steering's gone better again. See the size of my dog? I 
am they going to put me back on direct debits rather than prepayment now as well? So that will be cheaper. Yeah, how come they took you off direct debit? Because uh, I owe them money. Uh, but seeing as how I'm registered blind and have problems doing the top ups on the meters. Yeah. Although I did my top ups from the app on the phone. Yeah. And the new, with the new smart meter, I can actually do top ups direct from the smart meter. Yeah. But um, I'd rather be back on direct debit, I think. Yeah, direct debit's a lot cheaper. Also, they can't cut you off now because you're on. Um... Well, they weren't going to cut me off anyway because. No, what I mean is they up. can't put you back on the pay as you go meter because um, you're classed as vulnerable. Yeah. Well, I've always been classed as vulnerable with them anyway. That reminds me, I must ring Gold Vault. See what, see what other free gifts I can get from them. <laughs> Don't know that bed thing they sent. That's a good. I think that was a good deal. Kate, Cost me nothing. Kate, Kate's on Olvo as well, I think. You should go if you can get over to Olvo. Do it because they ring you and they give you free gifts. Um, we've got a um, mattress top heat, a mattress toppers that stores heat during the day and from your body, yeah. and then pumps it back into the bed <laughs> at night. It's, it's awesome. We got offered an electric blanket. We can have um, hot water bottles and all sorts from them. Just to save on, gonna, save on your own gas and electric bills. Yeah, because the plaster's vulnerable because of my all my medical yeah. conditions. Yeah, it's well worth it. Well, Kate's oh, vulnerable but... as well, but I don't think she's been offered anything yet. If she's not on the uh, priority service, they won't do it. Make sure you're on the priority service. I don't know where this is. She might, she might have to get in touch with them and tell them yeah. she's a vulnerable uh, user. Yeah. yeah, because what they've done with me, um, if the power goes out and it's going to be out for more than six hours, they'll bring in a generator and hook it up. <laughs> That's up. Yeah. <coughs> but it's not handy just for me because it's handy for the uh, block of flats because they can't just put it onto my meter they have to put it yeah. onto the mains outside so it'll just start powering up the whole block <laughs> <laughs> we could be the only block in the, in the area with electric <laughs> still online <laughs> it's like the um, your water companies there's a rate for them oh, as well yeah. I'll get down yep oh I'm on what's it I'm on vulnerable them as well. Oh, well, we've got um, a new deal with them. My direct debit was um, £17 a month and they said um, because the criteria has changed for the uh, low usage yeah, they've uh, knocked my down. My direct debit's down and now I'm only paying £5 a month and that was £17 each and now I'm paying £5 for the two. Because we have two, yeah. You only have one bill, don't you? Forty-three pound a month, my water. Oh, mine, ours, are, ours is going to one bill shortly. Yeah, but ours was two bills at um, seventeen pound each. You're not on a meter. Yeah, we're on a meter, but we have. Um, I'm not. I'm not on a meter. You're not. <laughs> Which suited me because I, I did use a lot of water, especially when Kate was here and she was in a bath every day. Yeah. Yes, we're in. But once you've got a water meter, you can't go back off it again. No. But it is a lot, if there's only you, it'd be a lot cheaper. Trust me. Oh, yes, complete this one two times. Well, it, it depends. <laughs> During summer, I can have the sprinkler going to water my garden. Oh, there is that. Yeah. It was ever wrong. 
Yeah. I'm gonna go do the cars first. Oh, I've got to go fill up first. Not to mention the yeah. two of. Well, when we lived in five, when we lived in North five, Wales, nearly five gallons of water a week to top up the fish tank. Yeah. Well, when we was in North Wales, we was on one side of this alleyway, and apparently that was the town town centre boundary, according to Welsh Water. And next door, the house, it was a uh, four bedroomed house. Mm -hmm. The water bill, yeah, without not because they're not on a meter, five hundred pound mm -hmm. a year. Ours on the other side, because we're on the town centre side, was mm -hmm. over um, one thousand three hundred a year. Oh my god! And when we asked them why, they said because you're you're paying the business rate for water. I went, I may be. That's but, ridiculous. Yeah. And, um, they can't charge you business rates if you're not a business. Exactly. So we, when we moved, I never paid them. I was like, no, sod off, not paying you. Mm. Yeah. And then when we moved, they actually uh, rung me and asked me when we moved out. And I said, 17th of February. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> and he, he went, 17th of February last year. I said, 17th of February. He went, Last year I went, just 17th of February, that's all I'm telling you. Right? <laughs> and then he went, oh, so that's 17th of February last year. Um, it looks like we owe you some money. He says, we owe you about £703. And I knew it was 17th of February, the year he ran. This year? Yeah. And I just, <laughs> he went to me, he went, how would you like this money paid back? I went, give it charity. And he went, I beg your pardon. <laughs> I went, give it to charity. And he went, what charity would you like? I went, any charity you want. He went, we'll give it to Water Raid. I went, that'll do. A couple, <laughs> a couple of days later, he rung me up and he went, you cheeky bastard. And I went, yeah. what? And he says, you you moved out this year. I went, well, I never said what year I moved out. You just assumed. <laughs> and he, <laughs> he went off to um, some manager in another department. And they said, because I donated the money to charity... They weren't going to do me for they fraud. Get it back. Yeah, and they weren't going to do me for fraud because I never benefited yeah. from it. I went, you wouldn't be able to do me for fraud anyway. <laughs> Gee, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they'll try and get away with anything they can, but they don't like it being done back to them. Oh, no. United Utilities are worse, though. If you get on the wrong side of debt with them. Oh look, I'm at that point where I get, where I crashed earlier. I thought I was going to do it again. Well, I tried. I didn't catch it. No? No, I could see, I could barely see it through my phone. I wouldn't have bothered with the just... uh, filters. I just, I would have just recorded it. Because I've recorded well, yeah. um, an eclipse on my phone and had no problems. In fact, the big camera I've got. Now I'm, I'm forever bloody pointing my phone at the sun. Yeah, but it's, it was way too bright. Like even with the filters on it, it was way too bright. Yeah, but I could barely see the corner. I could see the moon starting to sliver over it. Yeah, it was really hard to see. Uh -huh. sure. Oh well, there's many videos online you can steal. Mm -hmm. I just want to see it in person. That's different. Watch it. Really Did, didn't it Don? Else. Didn't Don come on and show it? No. No. It's not got to him yet. Well, I don't nah, even. Well, it might just be getting to him now. I think. Yeah, but he didn't I mean, say nothing about going good. live, did he? Yeah, he said he was going to try. Yeah. Uh, it's nearly eight o'clock, isn't it? Yeah. Well, we've had it now. It's been and gone. It's three o'clock. Three o'clock there. Goes straight on. Yeah, it's been and gone here. Are you in the next section? No. Oh, make sure you get the second egg on. Yeah, I have the second egg. Yeah, if you can afford the second egg. And you get better things in it. Great. I've just uh, put up stream time live, and the car park is full. 
Is that um, is that where Paul is? Yeah. Is Paul there? I don't know. There's so many cars there. <laughs> Even with 50, 58%, it's still not that dark outside. No, but you can still see a fair chunk out of the sun. 58%? Is that what Paul's getting? No, he's getting 98 Well, the UK, some parts of it got 5%. Yay! I've seen, I've seen one that's 5%. And we, we got 100%. Have, we got 100% because it went dark it. this evening. <laughs> and we're away yeah. in Indiana. In where? Indiana. Indianapolis. I thought you said Indiana. India. I was like, yeah, what? what? I thought you said, I was like, what? Oh, the first five letters. <laughs> <laughs> first five letters of that <sighs> state. In India. Yeah. That was like, right. an Wait, at what? the end. <laughs> Two more letters at the end. I'll be able to get some shorts. Well, they've been showing Augusta on yeah. the Sky Sports on the Masters, and they didn't see. I didn't see anything go dark there. It's only just sure. starting in there. Yeah, Georgia. Augusta is in Georgia, so that had been, they're still probably 25, 30 minutes away. Yeah. Mm. This, you know, this caper goes on for another hour and a half. Yeah. I'll see Paul's truck down there. It's not exactly what it looks like. He'd have been parked right there at the point. Well, he can't really, because uh, someone stole any parking spot. Yeah, but there's <laughs> like four open spots right there. You could just see Paul like, I have fucking moved. Doing it? Can I stall yeah. the spot? I don't think he's gonna go down there. I don't think he really cares to be honest with you. I wish he'd stick with that. Knowing Paul, he'd be trying to fly a shit while he while it's happening. I wish he'd stick with that RC remote instead of going back to his old one. Yeah, he's gonna do what he wants to do. Entirely his decision. Yeah. Not much you can do about it. Well, I suppose at least he can sell his in fire so that he can buy another air to S if he can use this one. The better you have, the better your tank. Stop worrying about the fucking car and move! I've got three, uh, two seagulls on the bottom. Uh, or, three I think seagulls. You, or I think you might need to ban him video games all together. <laughs> no, I've got this bloody um, van in front of me and he's more swerving around and... Oh, that road, pull then. You're oh, road raging ridiculous. on a virtual vehicle. Yeah, because it's in my we way. You his name three times. Yeah, you said his name too many times, it's here now. He's here. Well, he's definitely not by the water, then. <laughs> Good evening, Paul. I'm taking his parking You gonna go down there, Paul? No. It is packed out of there. Yeah. You're not going to throw an indie? He should be able, to, be able to see it from his house. He won't need to go down there, does he? I wish I, I was down there right now. I'd be going down there. Just say that. It's definitely, it's definitely getting dark here. I got, uh, what is it, five minutes until? Yeah, about, yeah, about that. About eight minutes, I think. I think yeah, we said it was seventeen part of three seventeen. It's funny, even with sixty percent, it's barely got dark yet. Nothing. Like you would think that you would notice that, but that much light gone. Yes, sir. Actually, it should get brighter where you are because it's squeezing more bright light out of a certain point. Okay. Yeah, it'll be compressed light. Yeah. So you should go brighter than than darker. Beginning. It should be well, it looks pretty bright there, wherever they are. That's oh no, that, that won't be Augusta, that's somewhere, that's an old one they're throwing. Well here, let's put on the poor hero cam. Yeah, I've got it on in, I've got it on in the background. Well, we're, Indiana's finished. 
So where are we going to next? Let's see where it's taking it. It'd be Michigan if it's at the Apples. Alright, Michigan. Let's go back. In Vermont. I got like one minute till total total total. God help the people that don't have automatic headlights. <laughs> well, actually having to remember to turn the lights on. Yeah, not all. Not some of the older cars don't have these little sensors that turn your headlights on automatically. Mm. What we need is a pile up on the bridge. I think so. that's live at Augusta, it doesn't look very dark yet. I'm watching the port here on cam right now. I'm watching wherever the camera is on NASA. I'm watching my truck. Cleveland, Ohio is our next, our next step. The next stop uh -huh. is Cleveland, Ohio. It's starting, it's starting to get dark <laughs> down there by the camp. Looks like the camera went dark a little bit. Just a slight bit. The next stop will be Port Huron, Michigan. Uh, okay, don't start zooming in on bullshit now. Keep the camera yeah. out. The next stop yeah, will be see, bullshit. <laughs> yeah, you can say the line. Be right back. Yeah, it looked like it faded just a little bit. When it swung around to the bridge here. 10k egg. I'm saving for the 10k egg. Saving? Does it have to have all the pecs together? Uh, I'm not too sure. You have to try. I mean, you got four. I think you need five. Yeah. Oh, come on. What? I need mean, I've got a legendary. It might be better than the... I just looked out the window and we'd have seen none of it anyway because it's absolutely chucking it down. <laughs> yeah, I've been chucking it down here for a while too. Well, it's not going to uh, chuck it up. It's not raining really here at the moment. We're sending it your way, Mark. Actually, we've got, we've got a risk of severe flooding tonight. We could wait. We could wake up a cough uh, at the seaside. Uh, we had plenty of rain last night. Yeah, we got spring tides and uh, heavy winds. Mm. Are you for one story or two stories? We're, we're on the ground, on the ground floor. floor. Well, that sucks. <laughs> at least you're look. You're upstairs. You'll be all right. No, we'll be all right because literally. I'm sure we're up here. We're in Cleveland, Ohio. Okay. I should be alright. I'm 300 feet above sea level anyway. Wait up a goddamn minute. It says... <laughs> my journey... <laughs> ...is here. So... Yeah. Oh, you moved the bloody thing, did you? No. <sighs> Take the job.
Yeah, it's pretty dark out. Yeah, you can see it on the camera. Um, who's screen sharing? Laura. Laura. Laura, if you stop for a minute, I'll show you it's what... It's got screen sharing, it's my virtual camera. Okay, oh, she's well, spotlighted. Oh. So you can just screen share, Paul. Just go for it. Go just... She'll just re-spotlight it in a minute. Yep, there we go. Well, you don't look like Dom freaking minute. Yeah, 10k. Really? Yeah, do have to go that way. You have to get it just over though for you to be able to use it. Mm -hmm. I think I'm fine. Yeah, it's so really, it's really dark here. Oh. And Jonathan, TJ, Corey, Mark. Right, who's screen sharing my uh, YouTube? <laughs> Nobody. Somebody was. <laughs> uh, Paul, Paul was. He just forgot to hit stop share. Mm -hmm. can re um, spotlight yourself. Can one of the co hosts do it? No. I'm playing a game with Amber. So? I'm playing a game with Amber. Oh, yeah. first. We can do. I'm a minute I'm a minute total. We can share the screen of the. Let's have the maps do it even now. What the bloody hell is my trailer? It's already twice as dark as it was when I first started watching it. Yeah, that's about as much as they're getting. I thought they were getting like 98% or something. Yeah, that's maximum. Yeah, so they should be getting dark, dark, right? They should have, yeah. Right, because well, I camera. I've got a new um, Yeah, the camera's got night vision, hasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, but it hasn't gone into night vision yet. That's yeah, still no, that, that water looks too blue to be night vision. Yeah, it's uh, that's it's, but I've been watching it. It's slowly getting darker. Let's see how it feels on a spray. What the god darn hell? And I don't see anybody really looking up yet, so I don't think it's really there yet. I think it's coming. So it's Christmas. Uh -huh. <laughs> what, uh... When is it actually supposed to be full over, then? Yeah. Well, I'm going away... It's going away from me now. It's like, it's like a, uh, um, five, three or four minutes past full eclipse. You get bigger ones in the. Actually, it's one point, one minute, six seconds, six and a half seconds past. Totally. Uh, it should have got darker down there if you guys were at ninety-eight percent. Something's off, either the timing. There's no way it'd be that bright with ninety-eight percent of coverage. I don't. I think what? the timing might be off. It's not that well, big a car. I thought the car park was big. Hmm? Oh, I thought the car park was bigger than that. Oh so no, it's take, small. It's only about twenty cars, isn't it? Well, there, there you got sections of those. There's three or four more sections that go around the edge. Hmm. All right. And then there's a couple on the other side too. Oh yeah, there's a bit over there where it's just zoomed into. I don't know how do you get up there? Yeah, yeah there, there's not that much power down there, to be honest with you. If there's a big event going on, it don't take long to fill those parking spaces up. Mm. People, I've actually seen people park oh, up on the grass and shit over there too. Yeah. yeah. 
Do they get pissed when you park on the grass ball? Yeah, you're not supposed to. Because I've seen a couple people do that. Yeah, the police will come right and take it. I guess so, yeah. I was expecting it to get darker in this corner. Well, see, I'm a, I'm a minute and one hour and seven seconds. No. My total was at 3.15. What time is it now? 3.22. Mm -hmm. well, see how bright it is there? and then. Yeah, it's starting to get brighter here now. Okay, I'd... We're in New York now. Okay, I don't care anymore. To be honest with you. <laughs> I'm bored with the eclipse now. I didn't get to see shit where I was at. No. Well, you know, that much excitement, it's almost as happy time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'd have to go take a fucking nap if it wasn't 3.30 in the afternoon. Before the eclipse, I went out and mowed my lawn. <laughs> that just about killed me. Even though all I am is riding around in a zero turn. Yeah, that's a pretty lazy way of mowing the lawn. Mm. Huh? Not to mention zero turns will fucking cut through anything. Yeah, and I had it, I had it on mulch setting and I had to cover on Hey, tank. Dude, try doing a small yard in Florida with just a push mower and some of God knows. <laughs> I used to do half the yard and then I'd go in for a couple hours and I'd come out and do the other half. It's too damn hot. I'd usually go around, do all the trimming around the entire yard, and then I would do either the front or back. And then I would come back later and do the rest. It's just too damn hot in summertime. Mm -hmm. But if I had a riding lawnmower, shit, I could have got my yard done in five minutes. And then mm -hmm. probably about 20 minutes of trimming. <clears throat> Completed it all once. That's what those guys do that do the yards around here. They have like four or five houses in a row that they do. And they just jump on that zero turn, boom, right across five oh, yards at once. Them. And they're yeah. done with five yards in a matter of 10, 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. And then they have a couple guys that go around and do all the edging and, blow and blowing all the grass leaves off. Yeah. Grass and leaves. And they can have five yards done in probably 20 minutes, 25 minutes. Is that you, um, David? Going back and forth on the road? <laughs> yeah. Is that, is that part of the HOA? He's, he's a, a drunken truck driver. That's the well, one. It's, well, some neighborhoods, your grass cutting's included, and they just hire a big ass. I was doing different camera to, moves. Yeah. I'm going to do the whole neighborhood. Yeah. Or it's just individual people pace landscapers to come do their yard for it. Mm. But usually, the landscaper will try to get, you know, a majority of the neighborhood. Oh, I get here some point. Yeah. Corey's got yeah. 11 minutes till he gets the beat. So yeah. They might have five or five or ten houses in a row and they'll just cut straight across right over in the yard. Go back mm -hmm. until they finish all of it. Yeah. It's not bad when they do that, I suppose. Oh, there's some big ass landscape companies in Florida. There's some that have hundreds of trucks. Hey, you're responsible for your own grass boy. Wow, like some where of T it. like where TJ we lives. We don't have to cut our grass. His grass cutting is not Yeah, well, your uh, whatever rental company uh, council responsible. responsible for it, aren't they? Yeah, the council do it. 
See, like TJ play has to pay two or three hundred dollars a month in dues, Ooh, and God. then they that includes all your landscaping. Yeah, yeah. That, that's it's a leasehold, which is similar okay. to what's happening over here. But it's a big controversy over here because some of the management companies now <clears throat> they're charging like thirty-six thousand pound a year. Jesus. You can't, right, even, and that's our, you can't even rent the place for that. Well, that's what I'm saying, is TJ owns the house, but he has to pay monthly dues, and that covers all the landscaping, the public yeah, no, but he can't, have for the community. Yeah, and he can't get out of it. Yeah, and they can up the price anytime they want. Oh, yeah, mine's, the only way he can get out is selling the house. That's it. Mine's freehold, which means I own the one as well. Yeah, but, there's some flats in London where the commun the communal areas they're absolutely disgusting, run down and all full of mould and everything, and they're charging them something like eight hundred pound a month, and the rents are only eight hundred pound a month for the flats. Yeah. I got a sheep. But the thing is, is like when you move into a HOA. You're doing that under your own accord, you know what you're getting into. And that's your decision to do that. If you want to go buy a $500,000 home inside of an HOA, that's your own problem. I'm sorry. <laughs> mm. you, can, you can go buy a house out in the middle of you know, the, the <laughs> wilderness a little bit more out of the city, and you can do whatever you want. And then there's older neighborhoods like the one we live in right now, there's no HOA. So we can do whatever we want. If we want to leave our can, can trash cans out by the road, or if we want to paint the house a certain color, whatever, we can do whatever we want. There ain't nobody going to say anything. Mm -hmm. But you choose to live in HOAs, that's what I'm saying. Like, But there's kind of an upside and a downside to those. The upside is the neighborhoods are usually very, very clean. They're mm -hmm. gated. They're guarded by guard, armed guards. Um, kind of, you get... You know, everything that you're paying in is covering community pools, the community mm -hmm. gym. And a lot of the neighborhoods, this shit's really nice. It's not like it's run down like David said. But yeah. the downside is you can't really do shit without permission. You know, you can't have a yeah. boat in your driveway. You can't have fucking, you have to have all, all your blinds have to be the same color. And yeah, it's kind of a pain in the ass. My luck is gone. But some people choose to live that way because they would rather just live in a clean, safe neighborhood. Yeah, I wouldn't so mind paying for the clean, safe neighborhood. But I wouldn't I mean, want to uh, be dictating on what I can have on my drive and what color curtains I can have. Mm. You That's can only have pink curtains. <clears throat> oh, look, the house went up in smoke. But there's a lot of people that will put up with that just to live in the neighborhoods like that. So, like I said, 70% of neighborhoods in Florida are all HOAs. It'd be hard, you're, you're a lot harder to find a neighborhood that's not a HOA than it is. Especially since the norm now here in the U.S. has been almost all Total new eclipse in Burlington, Vermont. Yeah. Almost all new neighborhoods now are gated. That's like becoming a normal thing. Yeah. Over here. Wow, look at this viaduct. I've seen this before. Next time. I can't yet.
probably so much with so little water. Maybe you need to get some trips. How do you turn this into the other? Right. You guys playing Roblox again? No. Yes. Why would we play? Why would we play on that? Hey guys, I'll see you in about an hour. Yeah, all right. Catch you on yours. Take okay. ball. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. Dominic may go sleep soon. Yeah, I might. I might drop off and have a quick nap. Yeah, I would. I would highly recommend it. Oh wow, that sounds pretty good. You're not going for a nap, Justin. What time yeah, is it there? Then Dominic half seven. Drop the camera off. Hmm? Where Dominic is, oh, he's. Is it half past seven or half past eight? I think it's half past seven in the morning, isn't it, Dominic? Yeah. It's half past five. Half past five. Half past yeah, five? Like... Yeah, it's not been. Have you not been asleep yet? I've had about four hours sleep. Yeah, I did it earlier. So uh, you're only nine hours in front of us now? Yeah, because of that daylight saving. All oh, right. Okay, I'm just going to fall asleep in, the, in my couch. Yeah. All right, catch you in a bit. All, All right. right. Sleep well. So I decided I'm having a pizza tonight. You're having what? I don't, I don't have pizza very often, but I'm just ordering Bring some pizza. pizza. Yeah, 14 inch. Nah. Overcompensating there, aren't you? Very, very beef. It's a snack. Mushrooms, onions, green chilies. It doesn't matter what you're putting on, it's just a snack. Mmm. Yeah, but 14's the biggest one they do here, and they've got 30% off if I go over 20 quid. You ain't going so over the... 20 quid for your 14 inch pizza, surely? A 20... yeah, you'll order more than just that, David. Yeah, no, but a 24 inch pizza here is only a tenner. I'm gonna. It sounds like he's putting like 30 toppings on there, so that might be why. <laughs> no, the preset toppings. We don't we don't pay the top fire top the topping. On. And I've added spicy ground beef and fresh green chilies to it. And about one. Well, we have about one seven. pound, one pound twenty or one pound thirty for an extra topping. That's what I'm saying. We have preset pizzas here too, but if you add shit, they take charge you. Oh, they don't. It's like a dozen. Well, down here, if you add something on, you can take something off. Oh yeah, you could do that. But what I'm saying is, if you're if you're getting a supreme and then you're asking for extra cheese and mushrooms, they're gonna mm -hmm. charge you for that. It's gonna be like a dollar something per oh, per extra topping. Yeah. Anyway, see ya. You well, and if, like, you're, if you're adding things and taking things off, at that point you're just building a pizza. I mean, <laughs> the pizza itself, with the peri peri beef, onions, and mushrooms, a 10 inch is at £8. It's not a secret road. It's not a secret road. And then uh, it's an extra £2 for. What is going around in a circle? Or £3.50 for a 14 inch. But that's. 14 inches the biggest pizza this particular place does. Yeah, and then there's a lot of pizza places over here that do like, you can get yeah, like we, a three or, three or four topping. Yeah, 16 or 18. Right, you go over here, you can do like three, and they'll, get, they'll tell you, get three or four toppings of your choice, and you get to pick which toppings you want. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you could, they've got a build if it's not a chip, one. If it's not a chip pizza, I'm not interested. The way you eat, David, you're very limited on your choices anyway. 
Mm. Nothing beats a good chip pizza. Oh, I'm just mm. saying, it. Actually, when even I like chip pizza, so... Yeah, yeah but when you're pizza. a... Yeah, but when you're a meat a, a non meat eater, that limits your choices extremely. Well, not really. Uh, uh, well, there's what are you talking about? If you go to a restaurant, like eighty percent of the dishes you're not gonna be able to eat. Yeah, but I get what exactly. I want. Exactly. But I get what I want. Now. But you're limited. Now, what else can I have with it? It's never been a problem. See, Laura would fit in America. David, what? Because ninety percent. Actually, I'm a very, I'm a very fussy meat eater. Well, I'm just saying, ninety nine percent of restaurants. Yeah, if it ain't don't... chicken, she ain't eating it. <laughs> I'm saying you'd be hard pressed to find a restaurant over here that carries vegetarian stuff on their menus. That's not very common. I got a wrap. Huh? You'd be really hard to find that. Wrap. There's a lot of uh, vegetarian dishes See. over here. Do they yeah, do? Not, I mean, there's restaurants that are mainly vegetarian. Like that's what they, you know, promote. But, yeah. but like most regular restaurants, you're not gonna find a lot of vegetarian stuff on the menu. They don't do samosas or onion bhajis, and I have to have spicy wings instead. Oh, poor baby, has a good spicy wing. Mm. That just sounds pretty good. Samosas. So you need to go all the way back. Onion bhajis are great. Mm. Go back a oh, bit. Onion the hell's an onion barge? If you've not had a curry, you've not had an onion barge. Onion barge is an Indian. It's fried onions in a, a corn flour paste, paste with lots of spices in it. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Depending where you get it from, it can be hot. Oh, yes. Uh, that's deep fried. Yeah. 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 Uh, that sounds pretty good. I'm going to see if I can make a neon pet. How would you make a neon pet? Go all the way to where I am. And the normally you get them in like a ball shape about two inches across. Yeah. Man, you can get some really big ones. You can get. You can get flat ones as well in some places instead oh, I hate of... when they flatten them. Yeah. I'm guessing that's going to cost more, right? No. Yeah, if I go into Longsight, there's a place where you can buy... They're like... Oh, I lost my seagulls. Not, it's not all joined together in a ball. It's all, like, being... Pieces of wood coated in it and, and fried, so they're all... I may have each of got on the I think. I wonder if I can get an onion bhaji pizza. You buy it by the kilogram. <laughs> the guy did say anything I wanted on a pizza I could have. So what is it? It's four pound for four wings or five pound for six wings. Six pound for eight wings. I can win so expensive. Mm -hmm. They're super cheap if you make them at home, but every, if you go out and get them anywhere, yeah, yeah, they, they can get pricey. Is it a section? Yeah, like there's uh, something wrong with the buildings and the car. The a lot thing. of places yeah, over it's here. It's a pound yeah. beach, isn't it, for chicken wings here, Laura, isn't it? Well, I don't know. On average. Oh yeah, you'll pay you'll you'll pay a dollar a wing here for it. easy. I can pay seven pound for twelve wings. That's not a bad deal. That's a good deal. If they're decent sized wings, though, too. Chicken armpits. Yeah. The chicken wings chicken. you get over here are massive. That sounds yeah, reasonable you do, to You them. do know there's no meat on a chicken wing. On any bird I, wing. I know on the you actual, guys say this every time we wing. talk about it. On the actual uh, wing, there's uh, nothing. Yeah. It's all it's feathers. Off. You just eat the skin. It's not even skin, it's feathers. But it's all the, it's the upper arm part. The armpit? Well, it, it's not. The upper arm part is like a mini drumstick and then the it lower arm It ain't that much, part, trust me. The lower arm part is the one with the two bones in it. Oh, some of the chicken wings over here, you'd be thinking you're eating a damn chicken leg. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm not even joking. They're fucking massive. Oh. I'd be questioning if they're cheeky wings. Because <laughs> wings are not normally big. Well, it depends on what they've been feeding the chicken on. Yeah, over oh, here. Fucking miracle breed. grow. Over here, they breed big chickens. Nu nuclear mutation. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Put the chicken in the microwave, your microwave blows up. <laughs> yeah. Right, what does that add up to now? Maybe that's what happened in um, Mr. Bean in the Mr. Bean movie when yeah. he put the chicken in the microwave. It was nuclear. Right, so that's twenty one pound fifty six, less six pound forty seven, less a pound and eight P membership benefit. I lost two Fifteen fees comes to sixteen pounds seventeen for a fourteen-inch pizza and twelve wings. That sounds reasonable. Nah. Hmm. Um. David. Yes. Hey. What are you making for supper? Who said I'm making <laughs> supper? Supper, it's Leo. It's what you're denying. Yeah, but we've already had dinner. Alright. Oh, right. Odd right. received. Estimated arrival. Oh, uh, and anyway, you can blame Mark for talking about food. 20 past 9 to 20 to 10, so within the hour. Yeah, uh, David, you should see some of the roosters over here, how big they are. Like Mike Tyson with fucking feathers. <laughs> <laughs> Mean little bastards there. Oh yeah, they got big ones over here. <laughs> Have you seen those chickens in Russia? Are they rushing might... about? They, those things are fucking huge. <laughs> they got this breed of chicken in Russia. They're a fucking massive. I know if we go down this way, we've got a chicken farm down the road. And uh, in, in the um, winter months, it's when they start preparing all the turkeys for Christmas. And uh, one of the farmers left the fence open. <laughs> and uh, when he went to close it, all the turkeys attacked him and escaped. Oh, dude, when, when I was living in Southern California, there was a couple of times at the buffalo farm out there that had the you know big ass buffalo. Yeah. And they had like a couple thousand of them, and somebody left the gate open two or three different times over the course of like a ten year period, and these fuckers got out and were all over the place. <laughs> Well, it, over here, that, that always gets me. You know, what have they been feeding then buffaloes with to get buffalo wings? Oh, wow. <laughs> oh dear. You don't, you don't, but yeah, um, you don't use me over buffalo. here. If a if a chicken or a rooster gets out and it's being grown for the uh, catering yeah. industry, shall we say, it's uh, free to live on. Because once it's left the farm, it's not can uh, add edible. Wait till David finishes and he'll get you some. Um, and I'm, Mark, I'm pretty sure that they fed the buffalo uh, Red Bull. <laughs> yeah. Laura, what am I getting? <laughs> she wants you to cut some of the cake up. They've still got adverts over here for Red Bull gives you wings. Yeah. They've got a fish, a fishing one now where the guy pours a bottle. What's it? A can of Red Bull into the lake, and all the fish got their wings and started flying. So you caught them with a net. Uh, over here, they they stopped advertising that because the class action lawsuit. The Red Bull didn't give you actual wings. Hmm. That's why people sue for the stupidest shit over here. David, that would be like me trying to sue pot noodles. That was like yes. the the lady that just sued Met. What was it? Reese's peanut butter cups because uh -huh. she claimed that the 
the what they portrayed on the packaging wasn't what was inside the packages. What in the they didn't look. They didn't look like pumpkins and little Christmas trees and little <laughs> whatever. And I'm like, who the fuck cares? Like, really? That's what you're yeah. bitching about? Like, Jesus, you ain't got nothing when better to do. When have you ever bought anything that looks the same as it does on the packet? Yeah, like them um, Santa oh. Clauses that look like penises when kids open them. Mm. Christmas Day. Cadbury's got fuck for that. <laughs> well, I mean, it's just like, yeah, Mark's right. Like, you know. It's like the old running joke of like a Big Mac never looks like it does on the picture, right? But he never will. Does it have? Because they they dress it up and they use that food. Yeah, you use plastic and all sorts. I'd be like, yeah. I'd be like that. If you want it to look like that, here's your oil. Here's your here's your plastic. Enjoy. And like and like when they do whipped cream on them, like a say a glass of hot chocolate, right? Or a cup of hot chocolate. They just use, they actually use shaving cream because it will hold its structure it longer that. than yeah. actual uh, whipped cream will. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if I do a hot chocolate, sometimes even if I do a coffee on my coffee machine, I use spray cream on the top of it. And like Th Thomas was just sitting here listening to me and he said, and he was right. They use motor, they'll actually use motor oil for syrup on pancakes. Yeah, because of the yeah, color of it. Because it looks it. Yeah. Yeah. And it just looks better in the presentation than mm -hmm. actual syrup does. Yeah. That's why I said yeah. I mean, nothing ever looks like it does on. The syrup syrup's too thin, isn't it? So it just runs off, whereas the yeah. motor oil actually looks a lot thicker. Right. And then they'll use soap. Wonder what to they do with the pan. Wonder what they do with the pancakes once they've covered them with motor oil. <laughs> Feeding to the staff. Oh, I'm innocent. Mm. So am I. I think you're just saying, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> motor. What's it? Maple syrup flavored motor oil. <laughs> that was like mm, uh, a. I, I remember when that video went viral a few years back of the Japanese company that makes uh, prop food for displays and stuff, and they were making cabbage out of wax and it looked like like the dude with dumping it in cold water building the cabbage in like two seconds and it looked like a head of cabbage I mean, I mean, I mean, mm. and everybody was like oh that's how they're making cabbage I was like you can tell me you don't taste it I'm like dude if you bit into that you totally know that was wax like what the fuck are you talking about and then literally somebody researched it and found out that the company made prop food but people were like they had this whole conspiracy around it saying that's what they were making cabbage out of I was like, dude, you wouldn't know if you bit into a head of cabbage and it's nothing but wax. Yeah. Ain't that fucking good. Like, seriously. Like, people oh, see videos oh, on the internet and they just think it's real. I'm, I'm sure they showed a clip once of one of the TV programs where one of the actors took an apple out of a bowl and bit into it and then found it was wax. Yeah. <laughs> And the buddy. Yeah, man. How's Rob doing? Anybody heard? I've not seen him for a bit. I've not heard from him for ages. Laura, He's alright. Where's the buddy? Oh, yeah, it might be Pasadena because she was starving there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, she's starving there. Take him a while before he gets a replacement from the van, won't it? Yeah, he's got a curtsy car. Rob will usually answer you. How's he going to get his wheelchair in a courtesy car? Uh, it's one built. Uh, have they written off his van, do you know? Uh, I don't know. I haven't asked that much. You know enough that he's got I a mean, courtesy car. Jeez. <laughs> so if you consider the value of it with all the additional bits in it, you would have thought that there's no way they could write it off at 60 grand. It's not going to cost that much to repair it. Now, well, the, well, the, well, the thing is, it all depends on, too, how much did the L left on. Was it yeah. almost paid and, off? And not only that, it might be the damage, you know, because they'll probably go, well, you're going to have to replace the wheelchair clips just in case they got broken. and mm. You know, because a lot of uh, damage now when a car crashes, the airbags, isn't it? Well, yeah, if an airbag normally, deploys, even if you tap on the dashboard and the airbag deploys, that writes your car off. Did he actually buy it? 
Yeah, he bought or it. Or is it mobility? No, he bought it. But that's the thing, it's like, it all depends on, you know, it could have been a bent frame, the frame. You ain't getting one of them on mobility, that's for sure. Or, I mean, like I said, it all depends on how much did he owe on it. It could have been paid off, or he could have owed Just you know, 50000 on it still. That's all going to determine how much he gets back. Because yeah. they, they may just they may only pay it off, and then he's going to have to go out and get another loan on another car. You know? I don't know whether he loaned it or he bought it. No, he bought it. He's not short on money, is he? No, but he bought it. Yeah, I think all the work he didn't buy it outright, or did he get paid? No, he got it. No, he bought it outright. All right. And then, well, and then had all the extra features put in and all that. Mm. But even then, it's whether his insurance is going to cover the full value of it, too. It's like over here, you have insurance, but then if you don't get the gap insurance with it, if you don't add the gap onto it, what gap insurance does is, Wait, like, cool. say your insurance will pay off 15000 of your car, right? Yeah. Well, if you owe $30,000 on your car, and you don't get what they call gap insurance, oh. they'll pay that gap off, the rest of it off, then you'll still owe the car company fifteen grand after they pay it, pay it fifteen. Yeah. Mm. You're going to still be making payments on a car that you don't even have anymore. That doesn't seem nice. Or you're going to fuck your credit if you tell them to piss off and you don't pay it. You're just going to fuck your credit up really bad. You won't be able to get a car for it. I'm going to be honest, I think they'd know straight away from me. He ain't paying this, he'll be ringing every day, giving me some sort of crap. I'm not Do sure I? whether the, on the HP agreement, that they include an insurance in case that happens to cover themselves. Because, like, uh, it's always recommended here that you get gap insurance. That way, if they'll pay off the full bill out of the car, and then you don't have to worry about it. Yeah, and that... It's something I've never have thought of over here. So, like I said, usually the agreement for the loan includes an insurance payment as a separate thing. Green fabric. Green fabric. We have two different, two main different types of insurance over here. We got liability, and all that stuff. Oh. It just you, covers you, the other you, person's you, car if you get in the wreck. It doesn't cover sure. yours. Oh, yeah, we call Annabelle. that party insurance. Like many places do that nowadays. And yeah. the, the other one that covers you for everything is fully comprehensive. Oh no, she don't, but she's got green and white. Yeah, that's what, we, that's what we call two fully comprehensive. I've gone Gigi. And then what that is, is that uh, you only have to have that if I didn't you think have one on your car. Mm. You know, if you own the car outright and it's paid off, you can just have liability. Now, you can Why pay full like coverage if you want, but you want to get the value of the car if it's in the right. Wait, well, they used to have a third one, which was just fire and theft. I'm not safe, so it wasn't that yeah, bad. Yeah, that was the third party fire and theft, weren't it? No, third party fire and theft meant you could drive it on the road, but fire and theft was just for when it was in storage. All right. So that it covered it for if it was nicked or if it caught fire or the building burnt down or whatever. But you couldn't actually drive it on that. Oh, uh, that would just be covered under our insurance. Mm -hmm. There's no real stipulation on what they were covering. Like if, if, you're, if your car's in the garage and all of a sudden your house catches on fire, it's either going to be your car insurance or your homeowner's insurance. All of them will end up paying it. Yeah, I don't think your homeowner's insurance will cover it for the car. I think you'd have to... No, it does, to if it's in the, it does if it's in the garage. And your garage is part of your house. Goes. Yeah, but that's just something that the two insurance companies will work out. You wouldn't even have to deal with that. That'd be something they'd have to work out between the two of them. But on your house insurance, you have to itemise everything worth more than a thousand pounds. Three thousand in a Halifax. But see, what's great about over here too is if you have just liability insurance, and say somebody hits you and they don't have insurance, 
then what the, your insurance company does is pay you for your they pay you for your car and they sue yeah. the shit out of the other person. Yeah, I always do that as well. There are, well, there are some well, there are some companies that cover you in case you're hit by an uninsured driver. Yeah. Nothing to, a lot of insurance companies find a way to not to pay out. Yeah, it's called uninsured. Uninsured, uninsured loss. Yeah. yeah. Like that's what happened with me when I got hit by that drunk driver. He fucked my car up and then. Bring uh, for a car sound. They paid. Yeah. They paid me seven, almost seven thousand dollars, and then they sued him for it. But like, they they have extra bits yeah. you can add on to even the fully comprehensive. Like you can do breakdown cover, which will tow you home if you break down for an extra like forty-five pound a year. Um, motor legal insurance, which means they'll pay for a solicitor to fight your case if anything happens. Um, what was the other one? Personal accident and a courtesy car. Oh, did you get an accident over here? The lawyers will line up the mouths drawer. Mm. So you don't even have to. You don't even have to have that in your policy. You just go to any fucking law firm, and they'll be like, "Yep, we'll take it." <laughs> yeah, but they'll charge you a fortune. Well, over here, they'll they'll take What's an accident Annabelle? case based on. If they know they're going to win, then you don't have to put anything up front. And what they'll do is sue the shit out of the insurance companies. But they'll line up, dude. Like, the minute you get in a bad accident and the police report is filed, three or four days later, you'll start getting all these pamphlets in the fucking mail from the <laughs> Yeah, we get emails, all sorts of things. We oh, yeah, noticed yeah. we're in so there. That's <laughs> So, yeah, my well, insurance is dealing with it. Fuck off. Well, they're all the type. Of, well, those are the type of cases that they always take up front with you. You don't have to pay them anything because they always know they're going to win it. So, it's just yeah, one of those. They always they put a thing that says, like, no win, no fee. If they get. If you get nothing, they get nothing. But if you right. get paid out, they get 40% yeah. of it. Yeah, exactly. That's what 40%. I'm saying, but you don't. Yeah. Frank's dead. The fucking Here, stupid flats they are. I think in Florida there's a cap. I don't think they're allowed to take more than 30. Yeah, I thought there was a cap over here as well. There's, no, they can take 40%. Individual states have different caps on that. Or I'm not sure allowed to take. I think Florida's 30. <laughs> so I'm not going to go around here. It's just like some states have caps on uh, uh, interest rates too, so companies can't charge you ridiculous amount of interest. You know, they can't be like, "Oh, you want to borrow a hundred dollars, but you got to pay us two hundred dollars along on top of the hundred dollars you owe us." You know? Yeah. Hey, East Coast, like, how you doing? Not so loans. They do not like they call payday loans and things. They charge oh, ridiculous interest on them. Yeah, East Coast is a bit upset. You didn't get no superpowers. <laughs> Don't worry, Donald's got them all. Never mind, Dusty. He doesn't realize that his retinas are gone, but he's typing through sonar. You know, he's <laughs> visualizing it through a sonar in his head. Have you ever seen the people that have that ability, though? Sorry, I'm not kidding my roommate. There's well, a couple of people in the world that are completely blind, and they'll actually make noises. Oh, yeah, noises. like a bat. Yeah, and they actually Wait. can feel it. Uh, uh, and it's almost Steve. like a sonar that they're doing. I'm like, that is fucking weird. Yeah. Like, it's just like, you can't really imagine what that, that like, how they process it in their head. Oh, sounds like, sounds like the rain started. Yeah, we sent it your way, Mark. Yeah, we didn't tell you. Yeah, I watched a guy do that, man. I'll tell you what, I... I just, he would sit there and make clicking noise and he'd never walk into anything. Mm. He, would, he would always know where something was at. And it's just crazy that somebody can get that, like, create that natural ability mm. within their brain to be able to do something like that.
they need to invent that for drones. I mean, have you ever noticed, like, uh, since you lost some of your vision, Mark, have you ever noticed your, any of your senses Yeah, your hearing, yeah, your hearing does get better, yeah. Uh, okay. It's like when I go across the road, if it's going dark, it's really awkward unless they've got the headlights on. But I can hear the road noise from the tyres. Okay. Yeah. So if I, can't I had hear, a mate. If I can't um, hear anything, I know it's either safe to cross the road or there's some twatting on an electric bike going to hit me. Or some twatting electric car. Some of the electric cars are really quiet. Yeah, they still make the road noise, but there's no engine noise. <laughs> yeah. That, that's it, Dusty. You're a Batman. <laughs> Let me know when it's gone into the Congratulations, game. Dusty. Your superpower is a smaller penis. <laughs> <laughs> In other words, you've, had, you've just gained the same superpowers Justin's always had. What? <laughs> okay. I don't know why it's not showing up. Oh, man. Mm. The guy did a good job on me meters and he didn't take that long. It just took me forever to put all the fucking stuff back. So did you get any like money credited back to you or anything? Well, he's put 20 quid on each meter. Oh, as a courtesy or what? Yeah. When do, you like move, when do you move on to Bye. direct debit then? Well, I've got to phone them again on Thursday because it's going to take two days for the meters to sort themselves out. Yeah. You should well, have told them, you know, if you want to throw one extra zero on there. We'll... I just want to check <laughs> it's a character I've just picked. Oh, when he, when he told me that the gas meter hadn't been registered any gas uses, he goes, oh, well, leave it there. <laughs> So you just what, pay your electric bill as you need electric, or what? Yeah, well, two different pays ways. It, of yeah, he pays it. it. He pays it in advance. Yeah. So if I he only has twenty I quid put on money it, on my meter, and then it uses oh. the money up. Yeah. So and then if when only... it gets down to nearly the so I might... then I've got to put it back on again. Yeah. And you have but... um, is it five pound emergency? Ten. Ten. Mm. Oh, okay, so you can go negative ten if that's right. Yeah, but when you pay it back, they they charge you interest on that. <laughs> no, they yeah, don't. They... they just knock it off the what was it? They always used to, they used to charge interest. It used to be an extra, um, extra I fifty mean, p or something on the five pound. Ten quid is only like I'm in the yellow room. An extra three days. Yeah. They had a program like that in North Carolina when I lived there. One of my friends used to do that. She had a little meter thing she plugged into her, just a wall socket in her kitchen. And it would tell her mm. how much how much money was on her account. And then she would go to this like little ATM machine in town and she'd add money as she needed. Oh, it. I can actually add the money through Apple Pay on me, phone on the app. Uh, this was like 15, 20 years ago, it's a while back. Probably about 15 years ago. You look like a burglar. It's just a little meter thing to plug in. You could plug it anywhere in the house and then it will tell you. You mean like that? Yeah, how much you use, all that. Yeah. It's a smart meter. Yeah. Yeah. It tells you, it tells you how much electric and how much gas you're using. I'm sure now it's probably all modernized with the phone app and all that, but she used to have to go to this little ATM machine looking thing and she'd have to put her account number in and then pay. You could put cash or slide your credit card on it. Yeah, it's similar here, but you used to, you had to go to the post office or news agents. Yeah, anywhere that's got a yellow payment you used to, you used to be I, had, I had never heard of that before. Until I moved to North Carolina, yeah, I'd never pay point is going over here, isn't it? Pay oh, point, that's it. Yeah, yeah. It's fucking annoying when you get to the shop and you go, "Sorry, the shoes down." Yeah, yeah. That's the day before. Well, that was the, the day that, before the apps. Is that how you guys do your power it, too, David? No, we're direct debit. Uh, it's really awkward like that because then you've got to put the code into your meter, and it's like 
12 digits long and you've got to be able to read the damn thing remember where you're at and keep, there's only two buttons on the meter an A and a B so you press A for it to move along one and then B about five times well as many times as the number is before you go the next it takes fucking ever it's Kenny true that no keypad that you can actually put a number in it. But this smart meter, I can put that gold number in on now. Well, a lot well back in the day, put, when they used to have the old um, token meters, yeah, it used to put a stamp on the ticket, you know, when you put it in the machine. You put oh it, yeah, you can have a card. Yeah, that little card meter, they've stopped doing them now because yeah. you, you just put the card in and it goes and then you just hear it stamp the card. But if you put mm. a bit of tin foil on the uh, piece of card, mm. yeah, it wouldn't stamp the card so you could use it again. It would, re <laughs> it, would read it as another five pound and go and it would, I think you could get like five or six times before it did enough imprint for the machine to read. That it'd been stamped. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but we used to have the old 50p meters as kids. And oh, you used to have to put money in them. Yeah, that's what I was on about, the old 50p meter. And, oh, um, if you had an electrical meter at your house and you'd have to put money in? Yeah, you put yeah. 50p in the meter. And, and then uh, the electric company had to come and empty it every so often. Yeah, and it's strange that because. Wow. They come every six months to empty it, yeah, and uh, two days before they come, because they always sent you a notification to say they were coming, a letter, mm. and two days before they turn up, our, our house always got broken into. Same, <laughs> same window, that. Somebody robbed the meter. Yeah, they robbed the meter. And then... I'm still alive. And then a couple of days after they've been, Dad had got, come out and go, go to shop and get us um, some crisp and some butter. And just give we you a massive stack of piss, pieces. 50 pieces, it's like, hmm, I wonder where these came from. <laughs> the 50 pence piece is... Yeah, but what happened if somebody broke yeah. in your house and stole the meter? You just didn't have to pay, or what? No. Well, they can't nick the meter because it's got all the electric cables going yeah, into they, it. Yeah, they'd nick the money. But they could break it open because it only had a little metal seal on it. Yeah, a little, a little padlock. So your dad would just like to report it to the police me. every month? Every six whatever. every six months we got broken into. Oh for fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> My tie's red. You should have when you were a kid you should have marked some of the some of the coins with like a marker or something. You'd be like, Oh yeah, I remember putting that in the machine. <laughs> I think, my dad, I I think my dad would kill me if I did that. I have never seen oh, no, when, when we were kids, we never had enough money to have a 50 pence piece. No. I never knew that that even was a thing. Like, you had a meter in your house and you had to put money in. Santa Bell. Yeah. Wait, wait, I say it was yeah. a coin meter. Oh, and no, it, had like, oh, yeah. it had like a clockwork key, so you put the money in the slot and then turn the key around. Wow, yeah, that's never, I've never in my life seen anybody over here have anything like that. That's, that's, yeah, that's only crazy. private landlords use them now. You where the landlord pays yeah, the electric. Yeah, that's it, you can still have them, yeah. And so Quite what, the land, it's so the, the landlord, landlord doesn't have to pay or Hey, Tim. So what, the landlord comes and empties it? Yeah. And pays the electric? Yeah. Yeah. But then he would set how much your electric would cost you. Okay. You definitely don't want one of them now. No. Yeah, that's weird. I've never seen an electrical meter. You actually had to put money in. That's, that's mm. weird. Okay. There's 99% of people over here, you just get a bill every month and you pay it. Like, oh. that's it. You, they send you a, it they, it's either electronic or they send you it to you in the mail. Oh. And whatever you owe, you owe. And then there's usually, they'll have a minimum balance that they'll say, hey, you need to at least pay this. I think yeah. we're going to shut the electric off. 
So if you owe like $250, they'll say you have to pay a minimum of 80 85 in order to Well, get you, you have to set up a variable direct debit on whatever electric you've used that month. They can then take that exact amount out of your bank. Yeah, you, oh, you don't right. you don't really do that, here. Yeah, you don't have to do that over here. You can just pay monthly. You can you can do uh, auto pay or you can just do the, you know yeah. you have to call it or do whatever. Well, the, the most of them now we have a set amount you pay every month. And yeah, and you build up you build up a, you build up a credit limit for the uh, yeah. for the winter because you use more in the winter than you do in the summer. Yeah. But you're still paying the same amount per Where month. Me? Hopes to equalize it. Uh, I used to pay over a little over each month just to cut it to the next month's bill. I'd pay mm. like 50, 60 extra hours and then they'd just credit it to the next month. <clears throat> Here, on average, your electric bill will be between 180 to 300. I don't what know. the hell? Mm -hmm. What the hell about I, re I reckon about 10 years ago, I used to use about 60 pound a month on electric, and during the summer, about 10 pound a month on gas. Pretty quick. That's probably a week's worth nowadays. Like... Now I know what I've done. I've gone the wrong way. Sienna. Oh, yeah, here in Florida, everybody runs their ACs almost 24-7, so... Mm. Well, I've got two freezers and a fridge, then there's my fish tank, and obviously yeah, the bellies and all the rest of the stuff, battery charges and all sorts. Well, the only thing I use gas for is my boiler. I have Same got a gas fire, but I don't use it. Oh, we ain't got gas fire. We use it for the boil, hot water, and heating. Yeah. yeah, that's it. Which used to cost more money when Kate used to have a bath every couple of days. I hate having multiple. Because you'd like rather, rather have a bath than a shower. So I'd rather just have either all electric or all gas, one of them, is, instead of having two different bills. Having two different bills is annoying. Mm. A lot of people over here, they'll either put all their appliances and everything on gas, or they'll just go all Who's electric. Electric? It's pretty difficult to put your, uh, oh, yeah. your lights on gas. No, 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 no. I'm saying, but, like, how you can have your stove and your hot water heater and even, like, uh... $400 a month. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Did you say $400 a month is expensive? The washing machine, tumble dryer, but, dishwasher, they've all got to be electric. Uh, right, but what I'm saying on, is... It depends on whether they're attached to the hot water system, which then uses the gas to heat the water. Yeah, or, don't do that. All of them now tend to be single cold water feed, and they use their own electric to heat the water up inside them. Well, what I'm saying is it's it's annoying when you have, like, one appliance and you have to have gas just for that one appliance, but then all the rest of them are electric. That's what I'm well, saying. Like, have, instead of having a stove and all that. Yeah, I used to have a gas cooker when I moved in, but I changed it to electric. I'll tell you, gas is a lot better, I think, at cooking. It heats up yeah, a lot faster. A lot, a lot better, yeah, a lot more quicker. Expensive. It's more yeah. expensive here. <laughs> oh, what's up, Tim? Oh, you got your headphones cool, sorry. Hey, Tim. I was laying in the bed relaxing, I wasn't paying attention to Just the chair. Just went in the kitchen to make a cup of tea. Yeah, so Dusty pays um, $400 a month for his uh, electric. Yeah, it all depends on your area you live in, too, because you could live in one part of a state, but it'd be cheap. A hundred pounds a month is about $130 for my electric. Ours is about two fifty for the other one. Yeah. And then, like Dusty said, you know, it depends on how well your how well your house is insulated. Like Anybody like the way I'm driving? Uh, 
I don't know. I just sat down to be honest with you. I was laying on the bed relaxing for the last like 40 minutes. Alright, we take it out of the take. Third. No, I did that yesterday. Jesus I've got it. I've got it. What are you fucking stocking up for the apocalypse, Dusty? You got two fridges and three freezers. Oh. Well, we've got two freezers. Yeah, but when Dusty's talking deep freezers, though, I'm assuming he's talking about the big ones. I don't know, do you guys have like a big deep freezer or is it just kind of a little small one? No, we have deep. Yeah, but how big is it though? Like, um, they're normally about 80, li 80 liters. What the fuck is 80 liters? Hold on a sec. You, they're like a chest freezer. Well, that's what we call them anyway. Oh, no, that's small. I mean, you can get the bigger. Ones... Oh, I know. I'm just saying that. That's a small one. Like, over here, like, well, I'm assuming the ones he has are probably the ones he could fit three bodies in. <laughs> this is not a really... Like the... This is really not a good way to drive. My dad had two deep freezers, and they were massive. Like, you could fit two, three full-size people in them. They were big. <laughs> That car was to get past me and I wanted to go past. <laughs> cool, on, at least you get some well, at least you get to play around with your headphones when you get home today, too. Guys new headphones, finally. Am I on a curvy road or something? It must be. Oh, yeah. You're gonna love the wirelessness, Tim. Just being able to plug them in, you don't have to fuck with no cables. So. The right one, yeah. Yeah, now this is gonna get interesting. Yeah, but you're not. You're going into work, though, right? Oops. <laughs> oh, Tim, did, come on the panel, Tim. For fuck's sake. Tim, get on the come panel. On. He didn't even get a job for today. He's off for the day. Get your ass on the panel. Got to be what, like six o'clock in the morning there? Seven o'clock. Let me see. I'm not going forward. I'm going backwards. Let's fucking see at six nineteen. Uh, Dusty, they still do pay Tim at least four hours, but it's like, I think Tim can correct me if I'm wrong, but it's like the job has to be canceled like 20 minutes before he's supposed to be there or something, or he has to be there and it get canceled. So if he's like on the way to the job site and it's they're supposed to be open in like 20 minutes, I think he gets the pay, something like that. There's stipulations, but he only gets a half day thing. What Tim calls a four hour min. Four hour minimum. Like I said, there's certain stipulations that have to be in play for him to get that. I think I'll drive properly now. Because of the uh, rain tip or what? Okay, that's fine. Ah, never mind. I'll stop that. If anybody else that's been yeah. in the chat wants to come on the panel or is a regular on the panel, links at the top.
Feel free to join. Nope, don't work. Dusty said, for fuck's sake, Grandpa, get on the panel. <laughs> He's not giving them up. <laughs> He's putting pants on. Now, look at the size of that. Yeah, place. no helicopters on the panel, please. I've only got two pairs of pants anyway, Laura. Can't be that hard finding a pair. How do you know he's only got two pairs? Because <laughs> I've ever only seen him wear two pairs of pants, either his work pants or those blue With shorts. With all them shorts. Yeah. Well, he does have a pair of jeans, that's right, when he went shopping and got that shirt. He was uh, dressing up. Just grab one from down there. I'll just go out tomorrow and get some more. Does he come up on the panel, man? He's, he's a done Friday live streams on your own channel. Yeah, he's literally come on. Gone, he's literally gone live on his own channel. Come on. If you come up on the panel, bro. You've you been live on your own. to turn your camera on. Yeah, come on without your camera. I mean, you can't sound as bad as oh, yeah. Tim. Uh, sorry, oh. Justin, can you? So. Is this how you do it? Or? You'll be fine. Come on. What you start? No, no, carry on. <laughs> What did you just say? Huh? Talking to Justin. Yeah. I did oh, actually I told catch David, what he said. I, I told David, I said, don't you start, little man. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm about to offend the dust in there. Get, get Mary in the protection. <laughs> Shit, sir, is smaller than me and I would have come from there. That's what me or one of the kids are on. She's not going to tell you that. <laughs> she does go in the bomber bear mode real quick. Your mic's gone a bit low, Justin. Yeah, uh, better. Yeah. Yeah, sir, go. Sarah don't play around by the family. Why do I feel like I'm gonna get hit with a toy in a minute? Just a while. I mean, Dusty, once you go on a couple live streams, bro, you don't even think about it anymore. It just becomes second nature. Yeah, come on, Dusty. No, so, seriously, like, I was the same has he way. Been on, I has he been started. on any other panel? Not that I'm aware of. I was like that as right. well. Right, come on, Dusty. But World like, exclusive. And then you come came on, the on my panel, Mark. Yeah. I mean, look at Mark. A couple of weeks ago, you couldn't get him on any panel. Now, you can't get him off the panels. <laughs> yeah, he's like a crab infestation. <laughs> <laughs> Dominic was the same, weren't he? He, he was in the chat a couple of times, and he could join, and then that was it. It was game over. <laughs> Oh, I was the same way when I first, like, everybody kept inviting me to come on their shows, like, John, or, uh, Matt and Jim and all them, and I was just like, nah, 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 because they all had all these cool mic setups and everything, I was like, nah, I don't want to, <laughs> and then I just finally went and got the stuff, and one night I just got the nerve up. That was part of my reason why I didn't go on, because all the professional stuff, or all the decent stuff, Laura were using, so I only, I only had, like, a... A mic that looked like something out of a supermarket. <laughs> and then I upgraded all my stuff. And now I've got better than Laura. All right, I'll be I'll be expecting you, Dusty. You don't let me down. What's Friday called? night. Friday night. Oh. Come in on your phone, ain't no big deal. No, you need to come on here and test it out. Don't go on Justin's because they'll they'll ruin your life. Oh, whatever. <laughs> Why do you think I've not been back? <laughs> but uh, I know no, I was like that too. And I, I have, one night I decided to press the link that Jim sent me, and I jumped on his show. And after that, I was—I uh, didn't even think about it anymore. <laughs> after the first two dozen times, you don't give a shit anymore. Somebody let that Tim in. I got it. I'm not sure <laughs> how to do that. Yeah, that Tim. <laughs> You can come in on your phone, Dusty. It's all right. Oh, you ain't the only one that does that. A lot of people do that. Yeah, come on on your phone. Come on your computer, laptop, tablet, anything. And 
actually it's actually streaming on a Chromebook really isn't all that bad to be honest with you. If you're just streaming, yeah. like if you're just going on, on uh, panels. At least, so, uh, at least if you come on my panel, you're only a small little screen down the side. Why does Tim if you sound don't, like night? So if you don't sound like, don't like it, then there ain't much. Are you somewhere, Tim? No. They fucked up. Oh, oh. You sound like you're on your, Who else? your uh, cell phone. The takeaway. Why, what they done? They've made them both meals. I've got two lots of chips and two cans of Pepsi. Don't complain. <laughs> I'm not doing. Yeah. <laughs> One of them chips is mine. And I'll have, I'll have a Pepsi. Oh, what's oh dude. Oh, gosh, Precious, will have, Precious will have the, oh, the portion of chips, I'll guarantee it. Mainly because they got salt on them. This might work. Yeah. Okay, now, yeah, you sound like in your room, you just sound like... I've got to uh, find someone to turn around in these fucking... Oh, bollocks. But yeah, I it can looks agree. like a decent pizza, doesn't it? Yeah, it looks pretty uh, good. Here you go, I can turn around here. Oh, during the height of COVID, you remember when they were just dropping food at the doors and they wouldn't want you to touch them or anything? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I was sitting there one night, me and Sarah were sitting there, and all of a sudden the kid said, somebody just knocked at the door, Dad. And I was like, knocked at the door. So I go to the front door, I open the door, there's fucking six pizzas sitting there. <laughs> and, I, and I'm like, what the fuck is this? And it was pouring down rain, so the person ran up to the door, dropped the shit, and they ran back to their car. By the time I opened the door, they were driving off. And I was like, what the hell is this? We didn't order pizza. And I pulled in there, and I call up the, I call up the pizza place. I'm like, hey, one of your delivery drivers just dropped six pizzas at my door. And the, the name on the ticket, that's not my house. And they were like, oh, shit. You know, it turns out they weren't allowed to take the pizzas back, and they had to make the six pizzas and deliver them to the right house. So I ended up, we ended up getting six pizzas for free. Yeah, yeah well, I was actually on a live stream. They can't take them back, especially in COVID. Yeah, they, can't, fact, they I, can't with any food. I'm pretty sure ah! I was on a live stream with I'm Tim dead. and, and uh, Paul and them when that happened. Yeah, you were. Yeah. Oh, so you're and, got, and that was the thing is me and Sarah couldn't decide what we wanted for dinner that night. We were fucking going back and forth. <laughs> All of a sudden we get yeah, six pizzas. Like a just heavenly present dropped on my front door. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. You've been suffocated. You with know it. what? It'd be my luck that freaking six pizzas would get dropped on my door and every one of them would have meat on it. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Be your luck, they charge you for them too. Oh no, they bloody well wouldn't. <laughs> Hell no. Um, one of my dog's favorite um, pizza. Well, have you actually had a nap? Yeah. What'd you do? Plug yourself in? <laughs> what, for 20 minutes? <laughs> yeah, he's got fast charge. <laughs> yeah, I do not know. I don't know where he put that plug. <laughs> what are you up to, Tim? Just chill. Oh. I'm not going to do that. Oh, you I'm in the UK now. Oh, he must have already got his headphones. Okay. I thought he was having a wait on him today. <laughs> All right, I'm going to get through. All right, so you, you, you just got the headphones today, right? Yesterday. Around okay. 5 p.m., like I said. All right. Yeah. 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 Yeah, switch the microphone. All right, talk. We can't. I can't hear you now. Remember to switch it in your. You might have to switch it in your computer settings as well. And then Steve. Oh no, I got it right. And in Zoom. Dad, you killed me. Badly killed him. You, it's a bacon. He's a bloody bacon. Bloody bacon. Most important thing are the headphones comfortable. When you can wear like my headphones for 
six hours straight and your ears don't hurt, that's a good set. I hate it when they put salt in the chips. Oh, no. Salt. Oh, no. Salt. Salt are the better. It's yellow. Not when you've got blood pressure, is it? No. Yeah, it is. My blood pressure today was 173 over 109. Yes. But the doctor said only worry when it goes over 110, so... Hello. Hey, can you hear us? Can you hear us? The microphone ain't working. Where? Well, we can hear you. Yeah? It's in the... Yeah, do you, you changed it on your computer room, and in Zoom? I changed it in Zoom. Okay. You might have to go into your audio settings on the computer and change it. The audio only has uh, audio speakers. Have... That's only no, it has... no, your no, audio. A... If you go into control panel and click sound, and then you've got it, you should come up with a box, and you'll have um, yeah, you playback, have output. which is your speakers, and then you got recording, which is your microphone. Change it in there. Be like right here, you have input. Well, this is Windows 11, but you do have your microphones and your speakers. I just Where go to system. I go to systems and go to audio and go to sound, and you should have input and speakers. <laughs> oh, for God's sake. System. Sound. Uh, audio output. Okay. Can you hear me? Yeah. Oh, let me see. That's the one. Ah, uh, it's not working. Oh, yeah, yeah. You sound different. No, that's the nano. Um, oh, okay. Well, you can do like Unplug I do. Unplug the other one. Use, it might be like another thing as well. Do like I do, Tim. Just use your your uh, nano for your microphone and use your I, I, headphones for your headset. I don't, I, don't I don't use the I don't use the mic on my headset. Damn, they could at least have put diet Pepsi. I use my could have I use my microphone as could have mic put diet and diet Pepsi in instead of rod and Yeah. Oh, Bring them up I'll and say, you know that three cans of Pepsi you gave me? Can you swap them for diet? <laughs> there we go. Yeah. I'll just use a nano. Yeah, yeah. You just, all okay. you're using the headphones for so you don't have an echo, plus you'll be able to hear things better around you when you're playing. Yeah. Well, the dogs are already have one pack of chips and half a pit, slice of pizza. <laughs> but so I wouldn't worry about the microphone thing. That's not a big issue. Yeah. Now, uh, question are, are they comfortable? Yeah, they're pretty comfortable. You'll yeah. know after about an hour or whatever. Jesus Christ, that car is in. Yeah. Now, they don't, they're not touching your ears at all, right? Uh, not really. Okay. Yeah, you should be fine. That red car there, there so. that's in front of me, he zoomed past, hit a bump, and took off on the road and left, and carried on going. It's like the fuck? A lot of hit and run drive. Oh. Happens all the time. That's oh. TJ. <laughs> Dude, hit three fucking cars in race. <laughs> oh, Tim, so I was looking up my controller last night. And I figured out that little flat tool. I can actually tighten down the joysticks. So now they're not as loose, they're, they're, they're a lot stiffer now. He's got a stiffer, stiffer joystick. <laughs> yep, I had to take it to me. So you can pull it, when you pull the joystick off, it comes a little screwdriver and you just put it in the tip Yeah, you there. might want to not want to pull it off though. It's and then it, Adjust the spring tension. Yeah, and right. it's a lot nicer too. I tested it with the aim unit shit on is. the game. <laughs> Up, up. All right. 
<laughs> and then you can take the, the adjustments down here on these little switches. Yeah. And you have one on each uh, side. Okay. That determines how far these go down. Okay. Yeah. So I can shorten the travel time on the button. Yeah. So I'm more. I'm more Fifty more dollars. I would have had that. I should have spent the money. I love that phone. That's such a nice controller. I see it, what the range is on this. You should be able to walk anywhere in your house and be fine. Testing one, two. Tim's a cock. Tim's a cock. You're a dickhead. You're a dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> Little bitch. Little of bitch. course, I I can see one problem with Tim's headphones. What? He won't be able to hear the cat coming. No, that's true. <laughs> oh, don't tell him that. He did it. He did it. fuck his ass up. He ain't gonna see it coming. Yeah, I can always shut the door. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but now you want to hear the door come swinging open. No, nah, it's going to creak open yeah, real slow. You end up with the door with a cat shaped hole in it. Oh. Rough. <laughs> <laughs> Rough. Yeah, every time I think I fucking know everything about Ruff. this Ruff. controller, I fucking find some other feature in it. You tell him, Precious, you want that pizza. Hand it over. He's already had half a slice of pizza and a bag of chips. It's only half a slice, she wants half a pizza. Well, yeah. In fact, she'd rather just have the whole pizza to hand it over. You can have the chips back. Oh no, the chips are gone. I just emptied the bag on the floor and they went. Yeah, no, but you can have them back shortly. <laughs> it may have changed colour and texture. Now, now, is your dog overweight, Mark? Um, no, not really. Surprised, because she'd be eating a lot of junk yeah. food. Did you not hear that, though? Uh, no, no, not really. Uh, get off, mate. Oh, you fat fucker. Get off. Uh, between <laughs> 110 and 120. I don't know she is. I thought she is. Mate, it depends how much running around she does. She yeah, does seem to be active. Yeah, but human food will pack weight on animals real quick, though, too. Not a lot. She's 12. Packs weight on humans quite quick as well. No, but I'm saying I've seen dogs get really overweight real fast by eating human food. Dude, my, my sister's cat was like 40 pounds overweight. This thing was so fat it couldn't even move under its own, own uh, legs. Like, it had to be picked up to be moved around. It was ridiculous. The thing got so big. Well, do you think you everybody... uh, It's got a little belly on it, not much. So... Oh, muscle. <laughs> nah, that's like Bo, man. He's not my fucking muscle. Big pain in the ass he is. <clears throat> Say they take uh... off the brainers. Wait, what? I mean, it seems to be working, Dusty. I was wondering no. Even I say he's got a bit of a kick to it. Yeah, it's not oh, his computer uh, that's the problem, it's, it's his uh, USB ports. Yeah. <coughs> well, was that? My, U my USB strip, uh, the plug went out in it yesterday. Uh. But <laughs> I found a, I found an equally I can't uh, see equal, it yet. Plug, but the problem is, is the one that was in there had a 12 volt output. This one's only got a five, but it will power the strip. So what I did was I only left the stuff that was an absolute necessity to be able to run, like my camera, my microphone, oh, all that. Um, and then like any of my studio lights, anything like that, I had plugged into it. I kind of just turned those all off because I don't really use them a lot anyway. So wait, do you see that crash? Uh, <laughs> but uh. For those on YouTube, it's coming up. Oh wait. Now, what about your uh, your computer, Tim? You looked at uh, you. You said it was a ramp. <coughs> yeah, it was a ramp. Yeah, it got jarred. 
Yeah, because when I was looking that up, they said most. Did you guys see the crash on YouTube? Sure. No. no. Oh. I'll go back and watch it in a second. But uh, they said most uh, <coughs> board manufacturers, when that light comes on, it's red. Oh, it's it's just when I join. Ram, just when I join uh, the bridge, Justin. Yeah, here you just. Yeah, here you just. Uh, I was saying that most of the time, they said when that red light comes on on most board manufacturers, they said it's either the CPU or the RAM got jarred loose. Yeah. That's what I found when I looked it up. The CPU wouldn't be jarred. It wouldn't even come back well, on CPU. Not unless you had like maybe a loose screw and it just moved slightly. Yeah. Maybe you know one of the screws that I holds it in there. But that's why I said to check the screws on your cooler and make sure everything was tightened down, just in case. Well, remember the second time I uh, turned on the computer and it was still like that. I turned it off again and pushed in on the memory. And I pushed in on the GPU and turned it back on and she was fine. Yep. Yeah, be one of them too. That's a I might know that. I know where I am. Where? In the... Behind the pool table. Hey, don't, 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 you, you, you. Definitely ain't gonna be over after giving my rewards. Keep right, and then you straight on. Is when you're going over that bridge? Yeah, just just as I go over, I change camera settings, and you'll see me bounce off the wall. Literally, the whole truck jumps. It's like a, um, it's it's the uh, seven bridge. Oh no! Oh yeah, yeah, I just saw it. Yeah. <laughs> Doi. <laughs> right when he first came on the bridge, yeah. He smacked the shit out of it. Oh, I saw a video. What was funny was, I was on uh, line last night and I saw a video of a car jumping a roundabout. Wasn't that me was with like, the truck when I, when yeah, I took off? It, 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 that was yesterday, and then last yeah. night I ran across a short of a car doing it in real life. Yeah, uh, yeah, I did. <laughs> I sort of hit the roundabout, <laughs> went straight over the top of it, took flight, <laughs> and then landed and carried on going. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to clip that later. Oh, for fuck's sake. No, don't get that. Let's go. Don't get what? What you sent me a messenger. Oh. What's wrong with that phone case? Oh fuck! The thing is fucking ridiculously big and bulky. <laughs> yeah, I guess it, it, it's all <laughs> you do. You do you, Lord. I wouldn't buy something like that. Now do I not get? Me. Now do I get the sympathy? But you're also asking a 38 year old man if he would like <laughs> that. <laughs> no, I asked you, is, is it cute, was my words. I mean, it's Stitch, so I guess, yeah. You could just say yes again, or no. Again, you you're, asking no. The wrong, you're asking the wrong demographic, Mike. Yeah, just say you no. Better. It's horrible. Just say that, please. You get If you want confirmation that... You, you, I said it's Sarah, to, she didn't answer me. Okay, if you're trying to look for somebody to give you the go-ahead of, yeah, it's cute, buy it. Then send it out to a bunch of girls, because I'm sure 90% would be like, oh, hell yeah. <laughs> 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 Asking a bunch of middle-aged dudes, they're like, yeah. Okay. Well, she she did ask the classy broad. Mm. 
that the person to ask is the one who have to pay for it. Well, well even if I even if I say no, she's getting it. I you know, I'm ordering it that, myself. <laughs> that case is so horror, but I have a feeling she'll get annoyed with it quick, just because of the size of it. Yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Tim, you've not even seen it, so. Oh, hey, I'll forward it to him. Hold on. <laughs> now, Tim, you need your honest opinions on this. All right, there you go, Tim. Tell me if you buy that for your phone. Tim, the answer's no. Oh, that's gay. <laughs> oh, I said the answer's no, not not you'll buy it. That's gay. Uh, no, I will not buy it. The uh. answer's no. Now, what's the question? You have to send it to Mark now. I have oh, said okay. it's Mark. Yeah, okay. It's it's Mark. Uh, oh, he can't look at her right now. Anyway, he's eating. Plus, he's on his phone. Has Dominic seen it? Yes. The phone case. The infamous phone case that Laura wants to buy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And Dominic, you said no, didn't you, Dominic? <laughs> I'm only eating half of it, and the other half's going in the fridge. Oh my she, God. She, I once have said that she'll be in the fridge later. You'll open the fridge door and you'll just put it in and it's straight into her mouth. Oh, when Kate does that, she puts half in the fridge and then the next day she gives it all to precious. Turn right. What? Were you talking about pizza? Yeah. Oh, hell no, I'll be eating at the next set. Dogs can piss off, I'll be eating that for breakfast. <laughs> I love eating leftover pizza the next morning. And then turn left. Sometimes I'll let the dogs have a little little bit of crust, but... Oh, crap. <laughs> turn left. Oh, well, she's already had the crust off three slices. The other day we had pizza and one of them they ordered it with Cajun crust and so nobody would eat it because it was too spicy so I ended up eating damn near the whole pizza by myself in like a two day period. I ate some that night and then the next morning I ate some and then I had a little bit for lunch. I can't see how a pizza can be saved. I don't know. Because I don't eat a whole pizza in one sitting, I can only eat three or four pieces and I'm full. Well, I only eat three or four pieces in one go. Yeah, I don't eat. You should be able to just special join me. I eat a 24-inch pizza in 20 minutes. I, I understand that, but I can't eat that much. I'm not 16 anymore. <laughs> Back when I was 16 years old, I could have put down two pizzas outside. I thought you was American. Go wait for 10 players. I don't eat that much. I'm telling you, I, I can't even eat a whole freaking burrito from... Damn, uh, uh, what is it, uh, Chipotle anymore. I get halfway through it and I'm just like, oh. Does anyone get the feeling if I go to America, they'll probably go, for fuck's sake, get this guy home. He's eating us out of the house and home. They'll welcome you in. You'll just get ten times more than what you pay for. The portions are a lot uh, bigger. So David's saying that he can eat a 20... What was it again, David? 24 inch. I mean, he's not lying. I watched him do it on Paul's one day. <laughs> and that's really something to brag about? He yeah. sat there and ate the whole fucking thing on Paul's channel. That's, I wouldn't be bragging about that. I wouldn't be bragging about that, but yeah. Why not? You, you, I can't. Huh. Look! There isn't. Just because you knock the box, doesn't say you can pick me up. Mark's having an argument with the dog. Yeah. Yeah, I can I can I usually get about three, maybe four pieces if I'm really hungry. Three. Maybe six okay. maybe six pieces if it's a really thin crust. Because that shit's super thin. It's like paper thin, but if it's thick crust, yeah, I can't eat more than four pieces on full. 
<laughs> Large pizza will last me at least a day and a half because I'll right, eat some that night, eat some the next day. Yeah. Thank you. Let's see if this. I'll see if this reaches outside. There's one there. Uh, mine, I can go about 45. Yeah, it has to be the ones that say in queue. 40, 45 feet from my computer before they start cutting up. I actually was all the way in the front yard earlier with them on. And my computer's all the way at the back of the house, so. I was just barely picking you guys up out there. Well, I've had five pieces out of the ten, and she's had one piece. And the rest is going in the fridge. Now, are you going to eat that tomorrow? Oh, I will, yeah. No, okay, good. Just I'll say, just don't warm waste. It up in the air fryer. There you go. I can't do that. Now, I couldn't leave pizza in the fridge. Oh, I made it to my work, you. Pretty good. Yeah, the, the, mine, mine has about a 40, 45 foot range before it starts cutting up. About 70 meters. Good work, you. Well, I mean, really, how, how many times are you going to go that far, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's a good range, like, for what you, if you go to the bathroom or if you get up and get a beer. Yeah. You'll be able to still hear what everybody's doing. Fucking hell. Dude, this fucking microphone worked. Oh, What? Justin, now watch. Not the crash, but watch what happens when I'm in the garage. Just watch this. As I come in the garage, watch this car. Bye! Doing. <laughs> the fucking hell? <laughs> This game has got some serious issues. <laughs> yeah, I've got some serious issues. Is it, that, is it still doing that shit from earlier where your truck was doing all kinds of weird shit? No, I was. I pulled into the garage, and mm. as I was, as I was going towards the petrol pump, mm. <laughs> the car literally just jumps in the air and comes back down on its roof. This comes out of nowhere. Oh, is this still there? <laughs> as long as the players stay in there. Only one person needs to stay in there. I'm not. Okay. Six, five. Four, three, okay, people on YouTube, thank you very much for joining. Those on Zoom, you can wait, hang around if you want to carry on the chat. Wanna, anyone want to say goodbye? Bye. Bye bye. Right, thank you very much for joining. I will see you all on another one on Wednesday, football tomorrow. So, have a good evening. Yeah, Laura will be live tomorrow. Have a good evening.